get them anywhere. Did I? I I don't even care anymore. I don't I don't sit around every day pronouncing. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't like sir. I don't like it. I'm like, uh, what is it? They do all those Android and everyone cards and I can't read. I just hurt to can't read. Like it. Uh, I could turn on my left, I could turn on my left. I could turn on my left. I think we are turning on our check to see uh, my problem. Okay, for those watching, we are um, going to be doing some live streaming with some folks. Um, technical difficulties, which is a big shocking surprise, but we're, they're working on that right now. So I need to run and set up my camera. I'll be back here to see how this is working in a bit. Have fun watching. If something happens anyway. Yeah. Still technical difficulties.
Quick question, can you guys hear anything? Okay, the problem that we're having here, folks, is that this gentleman just has a really bad connection, and we, his audio isn't very good either, so we, we can barely hear him. He, he's just, he's a famous author, uh, I don't remember his name, who likes Cosmic Encounter a lot. When they're done with this, we're going to be doing a live of... Uh, where we talk to the different designers of the newest expansion, and that will be live with microphones, so it will be much easier to hear. Hang on, don't be discouraged, it will get better.
But uh, it occurs to me that something that you brainiacs out there might want to look at is something called exorarium. That's E-X-O-R-A-R-I-U-M. It's a notion for a game that would allow people either visiting at one of the science museums or online to make their own aliens only much better than Will write Spore. Because Spore is where you have a budget and you buy alien parts. Um, but Exorarium is where you evolve uh, your own alien. You run an encounter in phase two between your alien and other uh, creatures. Um, and you know, come back and looking at you guys in the room, I think that'll be the first 20 or 30 to add times you play the game. <laughs> but uh, eventually you might try some of the cultural uh, options. Um, so let's take some questions uh, from you guys, fiction or the future or anything you like. Just bear in mind we have a difficult um, audio-visual arrangement here, so I have to get the into the phone. I want somebody. Are any of you sci fi fans? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like I'm not speaking to members of the tribe. <laughs> Spanish and books? Yeah. You're going to write coming on stage for the books. first time. The audio is not the best. Was that a question? But it will yes, get better soon, right. I promise. So, did you repeat it? Oh, okay. Expansion. Well, we do expansion sets, so we're wondering about expansion books, you know, just like a little book. Well, I don't do expansion books for my novels, but it sounds like a good idea, actually. There you go. Well, it's a little alien idea. You know, one thing that uh, that I think about when I'm doing my I'm pumping you on you a little bit. I'll tell you that I haven't read a book in probably 10 years because I listened to that I read the book, so it took me a while. And um, for me, it was, a, it was a, um, an incredible description of what seemed like the near future. Like this could be five years. I don't know if you intended to feel in your future, but to me it felt that way. Well, you know, when you're writing science fiction, especially the hard science fiction, which tries for plausibility, there are several different ranges of future. One is the territory that Michael Crichton almost always occupied, which is the very near future. In other words, it's our world. And now here's some terrible mistake that those scientists in their hubris and madness are going to inflict on us. And then everything gets put back exactly where it was except for the dead, and we go on as before rejecting science. Um, well, that was a little editorializing there, but he gets his own back at me because Michael Crichton is one of the characters in existence. But the near future, you take one or two trends and you extrapolate. But it's basically our world and our people reacting. The longer term future, two, three hundred years, well, um, that used to be easier than it is now. Now, if you have spaceships, you not only have to posit some kind of warp drive, but you have to posit some sort of reason why our intelligence transcendence either didn't happen. To or wound up including biological humans in some way. But, and that's the whole singularity issue. But if you do those things, then the net is down. You can do whatever you want. You can posit whatever future. That's what I do with my uplift universe. Um, you know, Star Trek Vice, uplift war, where the, it's um, based upon the uh, raising up of animals to human level intelligence. It's the 30 to 
a 50-year time frame novel that is the most difficult. And I first did that with Earth, and then did it again with Existence. And the, I guess I can sum up the difficulty in that, in that if I were to get my 50-year-old-ago self, that teenager, and bring him here today, he would spend half the time saying, wow, we never thought of that. And the other half of the time saying, you mean you're still doing that? <laughs> and to capture that mix of wonder and disappointment, which all of you feel every single damn day, and you should let the wonder overwhelm the disappointment. And the way to do that is by comparing your life to any point in, the, in human history. Then, then the wonder outpokes the cynicism. But to have that mix is the emotional condition of our civilization. And if you want to distill the reasons why we are expanding the of the war, which has destroyed politics and negotiation, and the can-do spirit in America temporarily, one reason for it is not the left-right political axis. We should simply abandon that stupid lobotomizing metaphor because it's French. Um, no, it's a matter of personality. And if you look at this strange mix of sensation that we've got right now, and realize that 30 years from now, even if we're in the middle of a singularity, that will be the constant. And there will be those whose cynicism and disappointment will reanimate their personality. And there will be those whose fantasy, irrepressible optimism will reign in the because their personality. But the world be made by the pragmatists who say, what can we do? And he rant about the three zones of the future. Well, I I ended up stuck because I really wanted to turn myself into whatever I would have to turn myself into and get into some of those ships and explore. I wanted to know. Oh, did you have the phone? Could you have the phone? Yeah, that's what I thought that we needed. Yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to. Happens to love Cosmic Encounter. 
probably a lot of physics. And there are so that that's a very So what's going to happen now is they're taking a five-minute break. Then we're going to talk to the designers of Dominion, the Cosmic Dominion, which is an expansion. Um, so that will be a live thing, so you'll be able to hear them much better. And then they're going to pull in Richard Garfield. So that should be So anyhow, hang on. We'll be back soon.
Excuse me. Thank <laughs> you. 
In just a second, we're going to start um, where we interview the people who made Cosmic Dominion and hear what they have to say, and then I think we'll we'll go from that into um, Richard Garfield. So, pay attention. <laughs> Yeah. 
And that's the only way that we can shut up about it. This is a uh, community connection. It hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. I've never done any sort of game design before this. It feels really weird. It's a lot of fun. It's a fan like all of you guys. And I don't think that it's really just a fan of having a party in there. But uh, thank you all for watching it. Uh, my name is Will Martinson. I've been sober for about 12 minutes. <laughs> 13, 13, 13 minutes in. Uh, I am the trained human being that updates the Cosmodex, which is the self proclaimed wannabe encyclopedia for Cosmic Encounter. I think the main thing you don't like about Cosmodex is my fault for a bunch of uh, and I had a great, uh, really fortunate people to work with these two number of uh, gentlemen on my right. Uh, uh, and uh, that's really uh, <coughs> Peter a lot. Uh, this is Bill and I sort of started uh, uh, that They're still coming after us, that's the problem. <laughs> but uh, the idea of having these now fans who uh, this design is my idea. And so I'll give them my first years, it was probably in Europe when they decided to, that they'd let the fans invade his inner sight. <laughs> Keep going, keep making new stuff uh, about this. There's something different about game design. A playwright creates a play for people to go and do a performance, and, and it's judged by do, do they make it? But if you're a game designer, you're designing play. Sit a bunch of people around and can you make that that 
and laugh at each other and laugh at themselves and, and change how that was our goal. That was our goal. We really wanted to do something different. And uh, this game came into our lives. It was a blessing. Just, it happened to us. Well, I don't, I don't think that I can claim I'm the world's number one fan of this one. There's like eight people in front of me. And I like the game, but I really thought after three expansions, that there wouldn't be any more, not because I didn't want it, I'll take the 50. But I, I mean, I thought we were done because most games don't have that lifespan to have expansion after expansion. So, my two questions for whoever is how did we get five and how did we let these unauthorized guys touch them? And how did that work? I think. Uh, What I was, you know, when I came out to Fantasy Flight and the thoughts of people here were uh, producing this incredibly uh, rich product from uh, you guys looking at the case of the solo blue card for the continent of the a poor but humble blue card. That was a lot of something. We wrote those words and put them on a card and they're still there. And so that's what we did. And the, you know, the fact that we had players like Jack and Bill and Jefferson and people out here, I know, in the audience who have credit for designing the evidence in this game. I will sign up here a little bit. And uh, we know that all of the people who participated in this product were sort of part of it. I mean, people don't spend 20 years the cosmic decks of the war, unless there's something special about you know what's going on. So I thought I know they know more than I do about it. They're smarter than I am. I know that they let's let them do it. And I, I just think it was a great uh, it was a great experiment and um, well worth well worth it. Now there were some times Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, how did that work though? I mean, normally uh, on the project, I don't know exactly, but there's usually a big developer. Out of three people work together without killing each other. I've heard of co designers before, I don't know a lot about it myself. But maybe I don't know what to do. I'll have to do it again. Uh, I can answer that. This is a very innovative situation where basically. Um, I did everything and we lied about these two guys helping. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, if you were to look at how we did this, it would be a really good really example of how not to organize stuff. Uh, I want you all to know that we did this entire project over email. We didn't have any phone calls, any discussion. It was just kind of like I got an email from Peter one day saying, hey, you know, The easiest way to make sure that we don't kill each other was to ensure that we didn't meet until it was too late. Um, so yeah, that's today. Well, I, I actually met Jefferson a couple of years ago. Um, I was doing a treasure hunt in San Francisco, and he was at a game convention in a hotel next to the one that I was at. So we got together. We tried to actually play at the convention until they realized how to kick us out. Uh, so that we finished the game up in a uh, hotel room. Uh, yeah, we played one from like a six or eight player game that I never got a single turn in. Um, it's still almost one, but anyway. The uh, part of what made Dominion successful and impossible was that 
there was a lot of stuff out there already from fans. And we kind of had a pretty good understanding of the potential for expansion just based on how much custom stuff that we generated and have been using for years and stuff that the community put online and that we would pick apart and try to improve. And so we kind of had that already at our disposal. Um, and we, we tried to make it very transparent and put a lot of the ideas that we were considering out there for everyone else to pick apart and say, yeah, we like this, we don't like that. Uh, we had polls, and we voted on things, and we discussed stuff, and then we poured apart and combined things. And, and a couple of times we said, well, they're wrong, and we're doing it anyway. Um, but you know, most of that ended up working out. And one of the things that I think that we discovered, um, we definitely discovered, was that we all have a very different set of what appeals to us about Cosmic Encounter. And it has a very wide range of fandom. Um, you know, Cosmic has a lot of whimsy in there from the previous editions. Um, but there's also some very serious, you know, gamers gaming type of uh, mechanics and materials. And one of our objectives was to try to have Cosmic appeal to the widest range of those players. So there's going to be stuff in there that people are like, this is right up my alley. Um, and then there are a couple of things that are like, I don't know about that one. I'll have to actually try it out a few times and see how it goes before I make up my mind. But um, that was kind of one of the things we wanted to ensure was that we weren't so narrow with what we were uh, presenting. We wanted to really get something for everybody. Tom, one of the things that happened is there were um, about 70 players have credited the rules um, for different roles. I can you know, play testing to just writing this version, writing this And with most of the things that I can count about numbers that are probably, there probably were hundreds maybe not a thousand people, but certainly high hundreds of people who commented or liked or even just around the periphery of what was going on. So this was in the uh, this was in the light of day as opposed to this secret process. But I thought that I thought that the process was really the fact that so many people participated in it um, just made it fun. And, and, um, you know, it's probably unique, but you know, cosmic as we know is about breaking the rules. And so we sort of looked at it. I think the answer is a misnomer. Uh, it's one of the things that you asked that there was a process, there were discussions. Finally, something would get to a point where it was ready. You did a draft, and everybody then had a discussion about what was wrong with that draft. At some point, you had a draft that people thought was worthy of playtesting. Of course, that's another reality. But that process works. Discussion threads from lots of people, some voluntary little bit, some a lot, by whatever their passion was for that idea. And, and that is a, is a big part of our um, And then I think the email is a really unique thing. Making decisions about what else was. That's a different part of it. But that, that's very creative medium. Um, it's an simply discussion. And produce a draft. And then finally, play it and see if it works. And, and listen to everybody. Okay, the game is 42 years old. That's what you're saying. If we've already been up, we're going to go into that. Yeah, it is a hard game. But let me ask this there are many three older games that have been reprinted, mostly by like fans. Um, and these games get reprinted and people get accepted and then they 
fade out, just like the cult of the river fades in now. Cosmic encounter still is a pretty solid, has a big following, has a little convention here, has a lot of has five expansions 40 years later. Why? What makes this game something that is still going strong? Well, many other very good games don't have that same kind of um, staying power. Tom, you mentioned the cult of the new, and I think that Cosmic Encounter can always be in the cult of the new. If you look at this stack of elements that you can see, there's 165. So it's still 165. There is stacks of cards for rewards and hazards, technology, and things that you can want to add. Every time you play, Every time you play Cosmic Encounter, it's a new game. Every time you play something new happens, you probably have never seen it before, and will probably never see it again. Cosmic Encounter is not an old game because it constantly reviews itself. Even without expansions, it's going to be new every time you play it. And every time you expand it, it just makes it that much more expensive. Cosmic's not old, it's internal. Clearly, I'm not telling anybody who's really into me, don't already know that this game is just a classic, it's a jam. And these crazy hippies over here got together in the 70s and they said, we just want to do something that's different from everything else that will people think we're nuts, we don't really care. And we don't care what Parker Rogers says about it, we're just going to keep it that way. They built a jam of a, a, a little game in a game that is so simple that somebody who reads the rules for the first time says, Is that it? This is a war. This is a war with, with pictures of space lines on it. What the hell is this game? And then they play it once and they say, Where are we going this? And we play it again and we get to play the game. So, you know, that, that is the genius of that, is that term like it's only really seven games in the uh, that, you know, two of them are, two of them are sitting right here, uh, along with Jack Key Rich. Uh, no, well, these two are semi geniuses over here, and I'm just the smart mouth in the middle that keeps trying to talk wild. But no, really, we, we've all been in the games and come and gone, and you know, I had problems and stuff like that. We've all had all these different games and all these games, but, you know, I, just, I wish I could say I was playing since 76, I played this game since about now. Um, never got tired of it, never got tired of it. It's been my number one favorite item in the game for as long as we find where it is, and it's his number one. And it's, it's what these guys built. And, you know, we even had our own little party to it with our own little screwdriver chip. And we kept it, and tons of stuff that it's in the bottom. But it's still the same. It's still the same treasure that these guys built. It's just got a much more. More beautiful interface on it than it's ever had. And it's a lot of times it's a great job. And I did. Peter Bill, 
consulting and by saying that as much as I love my original email connection. Uh, this is just a very good tool to product graphically attached to the gameplay to the designers. And, um, and a lot of that is, is new to Kevin's credit. I hate to admit that because it, it you know, hurts my pride that you know the fact that it took three of us to talk the job to my myself <laughs> <laughs> all those things. You know, that, that says a lot about what Kevin's created in this game. Um, but you know, everyone who's you know, here around me who's not boring me by now, like I am, it's a good thing. Now, so, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, we're just guard for the design of magic with the guard battle. We'll be our next Skype guest, hopefully. Richard will, uh, Richard, Richard will give us a five weeks ago, we kind of hope to come up with uh, and he's going to talk a little bit about the game. But Richard's quote for Cosmic and Cosmic is the only game I think I've been so much and I've had to wash cards. <laughs> Which I think is kind of interesting. He's the designer of that, Jimmy Abbott. So uh, Richard will be with us in about five minutes. Okay, uh, I think uh, well, <laughs> uh, we'll do we'll do some questions with Richard afterwards. If that's okay. Okay, it's not on hold. We have it. Yeah, we've got a time slot. And uh, we're not going to answer questions. <laughs> 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 we will. All right, so we'll meet back here in five, ten minutes. All right, so hold on to your horses. We'll do Richard Garfield next. When we're done with his interview, then we're going to go back and play some more live Cosmic Encounter games. Maybe I'll get some more interviews with people. Um, we'll see. I might do a bit of that. Yeah, yeah that, that might be interesting, too. So just hang on. We'll be back. Or, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, that's not that I'm moving the thing anywhere, so just hang on.
Sancho ni que esto. We're going to start in about three minutes. Did you hear that? Three minutes, Richard Garfield. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Sorry, I'm going to you about uh, a couple of minutes. It's about 30 seconds behind. I don't know why. Even without a really, really good internet connection, how many stills are live? It's not the end of the world. Um, it's amazing.
No, they don't. Oh, they don't. Dallas has the more the board game club just holds a big space. They have a really good store there too. Oh, the Dallas store? In for terms of, for yeah. terms of what you have on the shelf, I've never seen a better store. I think it's a pod. The people don't know anything about games. You don't need to, but that just But it was a great store. Now, uh, the store in Miami is one of the main stores. Start
I looked up something that is our problem in the panel. And here's how this happened. Uh, some years ago, we had a plasma panel online. Very simply made and played online. And like I looked at the book, I had never thought about it. I dug up the files, I looked at them and said, Richard said, plasma panel is the only game I played so much, I had to wash the car. So I thought I had to ask what you about how do you watch the car? You can help me. So why do you have cars in it? But I may have my cars were just normal. Let's call you back, Richard. The signal is getting back, and we'll call you right back, okay? Sometimes you reestablish it. Sorry, there's been a lot of technical. Doing something live slash Skype slash streaming is apparently not the best way to do anything. But 
once we're done with this, we'll go back to some live gaming, which I also think is kind of boring, but apparently some of you like watching it. I'm going to whoop up again. I feel it. Two wins in a row. Here it comes. Well, I think, Richard, you know, over the years when we've been uh, thinking about these two things and, and how they, uh, you know, how they have some synergy, um, the thing that's happened with Cosmic Encounter is moving to this publisher, the fantasy player, has been sort of a sea change, I think. I, mean, I, see, I see older versions that are uh, behind you uh, from various uh, publishers. And, uh, we have been talking a little bit about how well this new edition has uh, sort of made Cosmo feel like what we imagined it was you know, a long time ago. And, uh, and for us, it's been a terrific experience. And, and I'm happy that we were able to come to the Cosmo Club today and uh, offer us a little <laughs> I'm going to ask a question. Keep this going. If it's all right. Did you hear me okay? I, we we don't see. I mean, the possibilities for war expansions and for extending cosmic encounter. We don't we don't see the horizons. We see lots of possibilities. Do you feel the same way about Mandan? Do you see lots of new possible futures? Questions on the audience? Uh, 
that's an interesting, uh, interesting approach. And I think I have the opposite approach, <laughs> which is that what I like to think about is I always want to think of something that no one has Let's keep the starting point. And it gets harder and harder because there are so many great games out there now that you can't. When we started, there weren't any great games like this out there. So it was easy to think of something that no one bought. Now that's a lot harder. Uh, but I would say uniqueness is what generally makes, that's what makes me excited about playing game. It's something that, wow, this is really different. Um, and there's a few games that do that. We got to see one of your own designs for aliens. What um, is your favorite design that you had that was just so out there that it wouldn't even, you know, it's not even in the game now, or just your favorite story of a uh, way out there a card that you designed? Uh, I think it's the Star Wars one. Alright, give me a bit and I will be able to, I uh, will run another game for you here. We're going to do something different here. Something crazy.
Up for a game call. I am. Who's in? I'm definitely in. Yeah. We're gonna play. Gotta do something different. Sure. Gotta do something different. Um. You guys need another one? I do. We do. <coughs> there you go. The chair. Um. Have you played before? Yeah. Fantastic. Let's do double powers. But one is secret until you reveal it. Beautiful. Alright. So we got we got Jacob. 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 Right? Yep. I'm Shane from Utah. Uh, I'm Nathan from Twin Cities. I'm Rob from uh, Des Moines. I'm Tom from Florida. Uh, I'm Philip. Rob. Rob Nathan. 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 I'm sorry. Short name. <laughs> Shane. Shane and uh, Jacob. Jacob. Well, I can see your name. I know your name. Have you emailed me before? I have emailed you before. Okay. Yeah. The only reason is because you have VA, and I always notice when anyone has yeah. a VA. You know, there's uh, very few people in the world like that. <laughs> Where are you from? You? I was sitting. Okay, now realize we're being streamed live here, so right. keep the immense amount of cursing to a minimum when I beat you. <laughs> Does anybody have a color preference? Okay, so who here has not played with Cosmic Dominion? You, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't? Okay. The difference in Cosmic Dominion, first of all, there's a lot of new aliens. Secondly, there's a reward stack. Now, you played with the reward stack. Have you played the reward stack? The first one? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. The uh, reward stack is a deck of cards that if you help the defender out and you win, you can draw from this deck or this deck, or both, doesn't matter. Rewards cards, they are cool cards that you can see they have a different colored back so people can easily steal them from you. There's different kinds of rewards cards. First of all, there are attack cards, except they have two numbers on them. This number is directly correlated to hazards. If the number is hazard with this little symbol around it, which is hard to see, but when we flip it, we'll try to announce and say hazard. Or is it six I can't. I think we're. I don't think we have. We don't have any more colors here. Oh, that's we right. wanted to do for five. Yeah, that's I right. apologize. No, 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 no. But I'll beat these guys and come back and play the next <laughs> game. <laughs> or lose one of the two. Um, but if this hazard symbol is here, it's the white number. Otherwise, it's the black number. Usually, that means when there's a hazard symbol, they're better. Like there's a two or a twenty. But there is a couple that are worse than the hazard symbol. There is also in this deck some cool cards, like a cool reinforcement that's plus the number of ships you have in the combat. There's another morph card. There are retreat cards. You can use this in an encounter. You lose, but you get all your ships back. You run from battle. It's different than a negotiate. There's also rift cards. You can play a rift card and to get some of your ships back, but better than that, if someone pulls one from your hand and steals it, it blows up in their face and they lose some ships, which is hilarious. Intimidate cards. You can use this as an encounter card. Okay, it's a 29 attack. Or, you can, if you're the ally, and I'm your ally, and I say, I put this out and say, use my card instead of your card. And so he can. So then he uses a 29. But it could also be a negative nine, and I'm a jerk. Okay? Oh, we got level two in this game, <laughs> sir. <laughs> we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the, the little designers first, like that. We can get your stuff signed and get some stuff autographed, and then everything will be equal. It's gonna be a little later, but Jefferson said, "Well, let's do it now, then everybody can go play." So in a few minutes, they'll go up to me. <laughs> Way too late to. Kicker cards. You play a kicker card before either person plays encounter cards. You say, I'm playing a kicker card. All right. So then we play the cards and you flip it over. Some of them are cool. They multiply your number by two. It also destroys all your ally ships. Okay? You're a jerk. 
This one multiplies it by one, kills everyone's ships. Self-destruct. Again, you're kind of a jerk. This one you multiply your number times four. That's awesome. This one you multiply your number times two. And you cancel your opponent's kicker if he has one. This one you multiply your stuff by negative one. Everything is by negative one. And then there's a few other cards in here. There's a ship zap, you just kill a ship. There's a solar wind that reverses rewards. There's a rebirth, it's a cool card if you you can put ships back on one of your planets which doesn't have ships anymore. And there's a boon. Cosmic encounter in the past, and someone defends their planet and they win, they say, What do I get? And I say, You protect it, you're murdered by the evil aliens. That's it. But now you can play this card and get Defender Rewards. The big baby. Um, and then this is the best card the Omni Zap. This zaps anything. Period. Anything. Okay? But when you play this, you have to eat, kill three of your ships, send them to the warp, or take one of your ships out of the game permanently. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Make sense? Four flares. What are those? Four flares. They were just evil. Thank you. All right. Now, I know you don't know what all the guys are. This is alphabetic order. So we'll, we'll shuffle this. And we're, we're going to get two. So we'll give everybody four. You get two. Uh, if you need to look through this at what they are, that's fine. Go ahead. Why don't you pick two, put, one, <coughs> put them both face down, and then we'll all flip one face up. The other one you don't have to flip face up until you decide to use it. If it has a mandatory power type thing, it's as if it doesn't exist until you flip it up. So let's say you're the antimatter and negative numbers win. That doesn't happen until you flip it face up. Choose to. That's correct. You can choose to never flip it up, in which case you'll drive everyone else at the table crazy because we will wonder what it is. So we're just playing the new rewards deck then? Or is that, is that yes, the old rewards, rewards deck is not here. This is just, um, did I just shuffle, what did I shuffle there? Yeah, okay. Now this is my first time playing, so go easy. So this is different than this game. We're going to get to the game that, uh, like, you psyched your wife out or something and... That was 14 years ago! Yeah. <laughs> 14 I years! This look familiar. These are the two you're not keeping? Not keeping. Okay, the two that you're keeping. Yeah, those are not keeping. All right. What was your name? Philip. Philip? And this is your dad? Uncle. Your uncle. Yep. Nice. Yep. Did you uh, fly in? No. <laughs> drove in? We drove. <laughs> 20 hours. Wow. That was crazy. That's, that's a heck of a ride. Yeah, when did you, was... you guys get in there? We got in last night about, about a 10. Yeah, so you got some recuperating time. Yeah, and you know we got to do the mall and oh yeah, there you go. Mini ha ha falls. And, yeah. And, uh, great, great <laughs> Can I have your flare cards? There you go. I won't look. Can I have your flare cards? Yes, sir.
When you get done with that flare deck, Tom, I need that for the host. Oh, you're the host. All right. This is the for you have to chuckle it a little bit, see how It's possible. How long does it get About two hours. Maybe ten minutes if I'm in a good refreshing <laughs> mood. Not gonna happen. You got that audio from uh, Richard Garfield's. Uh, nope. <laughs> I think that sounded horrible. So it is what it is. I, I came in and I sat in the back and I was like, oh, there's no way that the computer and the camera are getting any of that. Like, it's possible, but probably not. But it's not that big of a deal anyway. It's not like it's going to go down in history as one of the most interesting interviews ever. We were doing Skype streaming video in public. I don't recommend that actually. Yeah. Stuff in public is usually more interesting if it's live. That's true. But I mean, you can't if we can't get the guy to. I mean, we can't get the guy. But yeah. All right. Well, what's our football? Alien designers. Me. Are you guys doing that? You, oh, you're doing. It. You're so, what did you design? <laughs> I designed the host. How lucky is the that? Host. <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, somebody can sit here and, uh... <laughs> we'll wait. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, you just need to go here. sign a few cards or something. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's all they need? You just... Oh, you yeah, just... Bring, bring, your, bring the host with you. Just as... Okay. All right. Next time, design a better <laughs> alien. Hey, <laughs> This no, place no, is no. I'm all, I'm all watch wild. All right, well, he knows everything about the game, so we don't need him. Okay. My guy is a quartermaster. When you guys get rewards, I draw all the cards, look at them, and then decide who gets what. I'm here to help. I will give you what is best for you. Also, if you uh, get ships back, I decide where you're going to go back to. Because, again, I'm, that's my job. All right, you're the pirate. Which sounds jerky. It is, it, is, it is pretty jerky. Um, whenever I'm the offense or an ally, if my side wins the encounter, I may use the power. And I capture one or more ships from the losing side by oh, returning right. equal number of winning ships to my other colonies. They don't land on the planet or get rewards or anything. Uh, during my during any regroup phase, I can send up to uh, I can send up to four ships from the sheet to the warp, and then I get uh, an equal number of rewards for that. And then also during any regroup phase, people may negotiate the release of their ships with me for any other, like for cards or colonies. Anything you can do in a negotiation. You will give me my ships back. I'm just saying that now. All the ships. All right, clone. There, I got the clone. I can take encounter cards back after I play it. That's like one of the first 15 aliens, I think. All right, I have the judge. The power of fiat. I may, before uh, cards are selected, oh, choose um, choose a winner or a loser and give them something extra. So, like an extra colony and cards from the opponent's hand. So, like before we play encounters, let's say like the loser will get a colony and your entire hand, and then we play. That seems fair. So, yeah. <laughs> right. That's how it that works. Can I see the judge? Yeah, sure. It was like. Colony, a single colony, and or cards to the winner or loser. That's true. Do remember though that can backfire. Oh yeah. No. I've never played with this one before, but it feels kind of like a kingmaker. Not really, no? because you're saying it before it happens. You're saying the winner of this battle not only does this, but they get this. And you can't you can't uh, make it too powerful. That's right. very restrictive. Um, so it could again backfire on you. What are the options on it again? As far it's, as what can you give? Um, 
it's a uh, one, player. <laughs> one colony where your opponent has a colony and or cards from the opponent. For example, the winner will get all the loser's cards in any planet where the loser has a colony. Okay. Yeah, you, you can, can make it really powerful. Player. Right, if you want to. But you got to be careful about that. Yeah, you might get... That's yeah. any player you said? Um, as a main player, it can be the main player. Main player. Basically, you raise the stakes. Yeah. All right, so I'm the quartermaster. This guy is awesome. He is a helpful servant, definitely from the army or the navy. This he downloads the illegal MP3s. We got the clone. This guy started wars that made Star Wars movies up. The clone. This is, I'm giving useful introduction to what you got over here. The judge. He starred in movies with Eddie Murray Murphy. Uh, what, were they, what were those movies called? Cultural reference. Judge Reynolds. Uh, the judge. Uh, judge Reinhold. Reinhold. You mean? Yeah. The judge. Wasn't he in those movies without him? Yeah, he was a peripheral figure in that movie. He was not a shotgun. I remember that very. All right, let's go. Peripheral like that. Oh, I see. Say, where your alien go? In my back. All right. Okay. Did someone shuffle these? I did. Yes. You did. All right. I bet the first one's green, then, right? <laughs> oh, yellow. Oh, oh, that's even. You right. want to make, make it too obvious. obvious. Oh yes, you didn't tell what the host does because no one knows. So the host basically gets to use the wild powers of the flares. So basically they get three three flares on the card at any time, and then when the time is appropriate, according to the rules, they can play the flares. So essentially yes, everyone can play the wild cards flares. You just have three extra flares. I have three. And then at the start of at the start of anybody's turn, I can either discard all three, grab three new ones, discard two, build myself back up to three. So I, I don't think you should be allowed to play your own alien that you designed. <laughs> <laughs> I just shuffled the deck, so I was a little surprised. Why? He drove 20 hours. Yeah, but you had the option to not pick it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> there was four there. That's true. <laughs> you couldn't resist it. Like it's my favorite yeah. alien. I don't know why. <laughs> and, and, and it didn't get any kind of good reviews from Tom on the web. So. Didn't it make my top ten? No, it didn't. <laughs> See, I can't remember. There's no bitterness there at all. <laughs> the quartermaster did. I like the quartermaster. I like the punch. The only one I said I, I said I didn't like, and that wasn't yours. So you're, you're lucky. You're right. It's a good set. It's the. It's this. It's. it's Ready? A good set. Yeah. <laughs> Most cards in hand. All right. Okay. Bring it. Don't invite anybody. Let's just negotiate. Let's just start off with <laughs> nice, neat, bloodless. Well, I would like. Time. I would like. To, I, I think he's lying. Because yeah. I've seen a lot of people lie the very first turn of the game. <laughs> Scientific. <laughs> Scientifically proven. If you make a negotiation deal before you even looked at his cards, he was like, "Let's do this." Then he looked at his cards. So here's the deal. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a negotiate. You can do what you want. Oh, wow, that's even better. Well, that's just straight up. If that's you want, up, straight straight permission if you want a colony and lose cards, or if you just want a colony and keep your cards. Yeah, but you're the judge. You can make this so much worse. That way, these freeloaders don't get colonies. They don't get. I'm not a freeloader. I work hard. I have cards that can help you and hurt all right, you. All right, all right, it's very all right. True. Um, I won't invite anybody, but this is he attacking you? Oh yeah, so you. you can you know, I never know which way this goes. I don't either, but All it's right, definitely that way. Like so we'll try this one. You say you're going to play a negotiate card? Yep. All right, so then the loser will get two cards from the winner's hand. How's the, how's the, oh, from the, how are you, how, how's that happening? So if you don't play negotiate, and I do, then I get two extra cards from the judge. The judge. Oh. Yeah. Judging it. Okay. So if we negotiate, then there's no one the losers. Sure, not a problem. Not a problem. I want to see this. I'll we'll see the trophy. Wait, so neither of you are inviting people? No, no, no invites. No, no, they're All straight right, up we'll Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Boom. All right. So you just want to go colony for colony? Yeah. That's fair. Simple enough. What a boring start to the game. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Well, he's, he's, he's a man of his word. That's right. That's and one, you know. everyone's a man of their word. <laughs> you said everyone lies. <laughs> yeah, that was a lie. That's right. <laughs> that was a lie about a lie. Yeah. It was the first turn, like two hours game. He doesn't reveal himself as a traitor to everybody first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we go again? You go again. Yeah. You, go. you don't have to. Yeah. Blue. Oh. Do you want to negotiate? <laughs> not negotiating. No, no, Let's fight. Let's fight. He's not going to fight. No, you want to fight? Okay, actually, kind of, do we have to fight? Yeah. You want to you negotiate? We can I, negotiate. I, I can't negotiate. I wish I could, but my, but my, 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 this, it's the Democrats or Republicans, whatever ones you don't like. The, the time, I can't. I can't negotiate. I'd love to. Okay. Uh, the loser will get a colony on the winners. On the winners Wait, why is one man? The loser will what? Get a colony on the winners. Can I reach power? Can someone zap that? That's crappy. He's going to go up to three. So what was the what was the play the, here? The loser will get a colony in the women on one of the winners' home system. All right, well guys, this is where I'm going to have to call upon the United Nations to come in and rescue me from this guy. He's going to get two. He's going to get two. Who, are you asking anyone to help you? Um, no, because I don't plan to negotiate. So you're just going to go from the right. Well, wait, what does the winner get? Hmm? You're going to play and negotiate, but the winner gets an extra colony? No, the loser gets a yeah, colony. he's going to get a colony. The loser gets a colony because you wouldn't negotiate with can me. Can you do that with the judge? As yeah. main player, before encounter cards are selected, you can use this power to declare any extra gains that either the winner or loser, but not both, will get if an attack card is revealed. So there has to be at least an loser. attack card. <laughs> All right. Well, well I'm still happy to do without me because you get some free cards that way. Um... And that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, it does. I'm asking people to help me. Yeah. All right. So you didn't invite anybody. Um. Open invitation. I'm planning negotiations. So I don't know if you're gonna get anything out of it. Okay. And you invited everybody. Yeah. Fight the fight the man. That's a judge. Here he comes. Here he comes. All right. So I'll go first. Defense. Oh, you, how many ships are you sending? Oh yeah. Oh. Um, Whoa! Are you the defense? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna reveal my other power first. <laughs> I'm the go fish dude. Okay. Oh, the oh, this is I like a negotiate if you have one. See, now we can negotiate, right? Yeah. Um. I don't want to though, because you were like giving all that kind of nonsense and stuff. Let's fight. I don't want you to think I'm a liar. All right. So I have another well, negotiation card. Well, if I win, I win. All right. Remember, the loser's going to get a call in the winner's face. All right. Yeah, I know. All right. All right. But this still makes me happy to see these guys die. So. So you all get four cards. Tell right, me what kind of cards you would like, and I will give them to you. You're the quartermaster. Uh, I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> so remind us how the quartermaster works. I, you, you tell me what you want. I put them in one big pile. I look at them all. And I give them the... I mean, so you're all going to get four cards, no matter what. Um, and then I can get one extra card um, if I do that, which I'm going to. Okay. Before we do that, I'm going to... I'm the healing. I'm going to reveal my healing power and let you come back to life. You can take those out of the war. Thank you. That was nice of you. That's what I do. That's what I do. Thank you. Looking out for looking out for you guys. So I need a couple cards though. Well, what do you want? Do you want all four rewards, or do you want a mix, or what? Well, uh, basically for the healing power, I'll just take the rewards. All four? Yeah. Now, now, for my healing power, do you do? do you Oh, your healing power, no. Yeah. And your healing power, you don't. Your healing power comes from here. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't come from rewards. But for your regular, your other ones. Yeah, I'll take those rewards. Four. What do you want? Uh, two and two. Two and two. Well, there's one. Let me go uh, three rewards. One regular. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, pee it up. <laughs> okay. No, no, we're good. Let's see. Um. Any 
to give you all that. I'm going to give you that. Me? Yes, sir. Thank you. And you get that. And I'll take one of these. That's, it, it fell out of a box when we were driving the truck. All right. That was your first action or second? That was the second. The All right, Green, second. are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want your ships back. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so first of all, we're going to remove these from the game. Just stick them on the bottom. You're not going to get through the whole deck. No, I might. <laughs> if you do, I'm going to talk about rewriting that power. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, where's the desk? Do you want to drop it? Yeah. Purple. Does it have a hazard on it at all? It does not. All right. So purple. I think I'm going to mark mine with a magic marker or something. They need something, yes. All right, Mr. Clone. Let's see, who do we got over there? We got Pirate. And you're at three. I'm at two, thank you. There are two. Let's go here. Let's invite the Pirate and the I remember things like this. All of you guys. Yeah, both of you two. I have an honest job. All right. <laughs> <laughs> catch up to you. Uh, two offense. Oh, we'll right everyone. All right, Rob, what you doing? So far, I think I'm going to jump on the offense and... Two offense. Act of faith. Let's see how this goes. Probably not blind. You did ask him. He yeah. might have lied to you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What do we got? A count of 10 to 6. Probably far sighted act of faith. Yeah. Dude. I have faith in you, Red. And Green. I'm sorry, Green. Okay, that's kind of garbage. 30. 30 to 36, is that right? Uh, yep. All right, allies, what do you got for me? I'm not throwing something down unless I know that someone else is throwing something down. Well, I'll throw, I can throw 30 to 36, did I count that right? Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can throw some down. I can get us halfway there. Yeah, but halfway there is a tie. If I do the other half. Right. So we need to. I can get halfway there. We need a four. Let's be more specific. We need someone to play a plus four. I know I handed you something good. Use it. All right, let's do it. There's a right. five. I'll handle that. Right. You can hang on to yours. I owe you guys. I thought you guys might work that out. <laughs> you guys have anything? anything I know. I have anything. power. I got nothing. Are you, did you get to keep it if you, if you lose? Uh. Yep. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. Nice to draw the 30 when you're the clone. Zombie 30. All right. Well done, gentlemen. All right. But you know what? I feel bad for you guys. Listen, you don't need to come to war. It's Thank a lonely you. place. I'll happily return you. All right, you done beating up on purple? Mr. Quartermaster, I need to, so uh, did your Quartermaster did you decide it applied to the heater power? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, it's, it says rewards specifically. Okay. That's not a reward. So two cards. All right. You ready for your second attack? Yes, I am ready. It's purple again. There's a discard. Oh, purple again. You know what he has now. Wow. <laughs> 
funny, do you? <laughs> is that a is that a is that a uh, hazard at all? It is not a hazard. Okay. I try to make a, a hazardous noise. Ooh. All right. Well, well, let's do this. Then let's let's go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Chip. And wow. I think I caused that on that problem, didn't I? Get many, many ships to come back to life. Why are you right, sending more than one? You yeah, I can win. Probably. There's a good chance. Yeah, I can win this. Can one. you do it by yourself? Because if not, I'm right here to help. Yeah. <laughs> be all you can be. We're tied up now. We're tied up. No, I don't get to judge nothing. You know what? We gotta. <laughs> we got to go. With, we gotta go with. We're gonna invite. Well, we're gonna invite the ones. You didn't use that last one. You could have. The ones. The ones. Oh, seriously? Yeah. No, we only have some friends. Like, I'm, I'm a friendly judge. <laughs> and invite the ones, quartermaster, pirate. I have less faith in you this time. Because we saw that he had a 30. Remember, I've got, though, uh, I don't know what I've got. I don't remember myself. You, you almost said it, too. <laughs> That's right, I do know you guys. Although my memorization skills are limited to two cards. Did you invite anybody? I invited everyone. Everyone. You? All right, lad. It's a no-risk proposition going with me. That's true. The Warpish would hate you. But I'm still sending one. One. Well, that's commitment, you Tom. You <laughs> that's, that's dedication. But I didn't play last time. Oh. It only works when you're the main player, I think. Either. Still okay. I'm gonna help the attacker. On one. I don't know what I'm party on this shirt. Well, let's see. Before we do it, let's see. We're still we're still aligned. Are we still aligned? Let's play. Here we go. Flare times. Flare times. All right. Let's play the wild. Laser, the wild laser. Basically, that lets me uh, discard up to three cards from my hand, and then I can select the same number of cards and random from any player's hand. So that Are they discarded, or you steal them? The the ones I take from the player. Yeah. Same number of cards and random from the player's hand, and yeah, I get those cards. Uh, that player must set aside the no. That player must set aside the chosen cards and cannot use them until the end of the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, so they don't go in my hand. So how many <laughs> you got rid of? We're getting rid of. I'm just gonna try one. <coughs> so that was from the deck. That was from the. So discarding a laser. No, that was from your personal stash. Right, and once you play it, it goes into the discard. Really? Yeah. It's a wow. Time. So, so it enters back into play if that ever gets. Be a lot of flares if we ever get through the deck. Yeah. All right. So, you okay with that? You see what we've got to do here? So, discard red cards. Yep. Well, how many did you get rid of? Just one. That's it. That's not so bad. Unless you get really, really unlucky here. So, you ready? Right, let's try that. 30? <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I'm not playing with these designers anymore. They're cheats. <laughs> um, okay. So, are we ready? Sorry, I'm sticking out this time. Yeah. You're not. You're not coming in. No, I'm not coming in. All right. Oh, you sound sad. 
All right, so let's also play this way. So that one came from my hand. So no, no, no. One, one flare per encounter. No, no, well, now that's the other thing about the host. These flares don't count against the one flare per. Oh, really? Right. So, yeah, so this one is from my hand, so it's a regular flare. So, totally cheesing out his own power. <laughs> Wild Angler. Name a specific card. Give me that card. If any player has that card and chooses it, to, and chooses to give you, give him, give him or her this flare. Oh, come on, that's zap this. It's not. Otherwise, keep this flare and take one card at random from any player. Okay, now, so I'm playing this to go after the attack thirty, my partners, right? So we don't want to zap this. We want to protect this. So I would ask you for the. Uh, I would. I would ask for the attack thirty. I can ask anybody. If you, if you give it to me, give this flare. Otherwise, I keep the flare and I take one card at random from uh, the hand of any player. Yeah, so it didn't. All right, so now I get to take the card. Wait, wait, what happened there? Into your hand? What's that? I would think you'd like to lose, like you have to give it to him or something. So if, if he doesn't give me the card <laughs> yeah, that I ask, or if nobody gives me the card, then I get a draw card from his hand, and I keep the flare. Oh, it's not that powerful. Go ahead. No, why would he ever give it to you? Is there a benefit to somebody giving you the card? Because then he can... Besides well, you know, to use it. Well, then he gets this flare. Then he gets this flare, so it's... it's yeah. And right, there's the attack card. Worked out well. Worked out really well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> you didn't even try. You could have tried. I, I, kept, I know what's in your hand, Iron. <laughs> I know what's in your hand. I kept trying for the 30, but I couldn't get it. Sir, you didn't need the 30 to beat him. You just threw our lives away. No, oh, I got you covered here. Hear the cosmic flushing sound. Why did you lose that battle? Because I want cards. I want to heal the people. <laughs> take cards. <coughs> All right. Well, what? <laughs> All right. I'm a, I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> All right. So. He, he, no, he could have won. I know he could have. Who lost on purpose? Cool. I remember that. <laughs> well, I could heal you to, to make up for it. I see. No, I want the planet. I want to heal you. Yeah, I guess. There you so go, why gentlemen. gentlemen. Fight me. It wasn't the original plan. Oh, it wasn't the okay. original plan. You it was that later when you didn't get those. That's right. That was, that was after. That was after none of the. I'm going to help I draw a green here so you can get revenge. You ready? You. Red. All right, never mind. Why is there a bunch of... I don't know why they gave those back. Are we starting his turn? I'm going to refill my flares. Hey, what happened to my ship? Oh, okay, he healed you? Did you heal yeah. me? Yeah, I healed you guys. I did you heal me? You know, no. I can't heal my own. Oh, okay. No. Even after the bad mouthing, I healed you. I would have probably yeah. zapped that if I could have. The, the healing? Yes. I'd rather my guys stay dead <laughs> than be zombies. <laughs> and dead it to you. I can reveal my hate. <laughs> oh. I thought I felt something from over there. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? Uh, what's hit again? He discards a card and we all have to do the same one equal to or higher. Okay. Or the same type. It's if we so don't, we lose, four. what, three ships or something? So if you can't discard a card, yeah. higher. You lose three ships to the war. Is that what it is? Yeah. And I think. And you can choose whether to lose the ships or the card. Right, you don't have to lose a card. So. 14 attacks. Spot a card. And if you don't have 14 or higher, you have to lose three ships. Yep. So it's got to be higher than 14. Can't be equal to. Okay. People are hired. 
You know what? I feel bad about that. <laughs> I'd like to use my power to give you the ships back. <laughs> you do that anytime? He's so nice. Anytime anybody loses them to the war. Mr. Vassal? Okay, yeah, maybe I have a hands up. <laughs> it's, I, I would appreciate it. It's getting kind of clogged with a bunch of ones and negative threes. We're not feeling bad for you. Again, I know what I gave you. I got one good, good card that I'm saving for you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, see? Ready I didn't get you for that card. purpose. <laughs> Right, everything is done for a purpose in Cosmic Encounter. <coughs> Man, I'm gonna just because. All right, uh, who are you guys gonna help? Uh, uh, one. You're attacking me though. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> help. I'm a nice guy. You still want help? <laughs> who are you inviting? Everyone? Are uh, you gonna negotiate for no reason at all and die? No. Because that's happened to me before in the history <laughs> by helping people at this table. I'm a better person. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. Says okay. the hate. Let's do this. Says the hate. Uh, before we declare the alliances, it's a party. I'm gonna do the trade, the wild. I can draw a card at random from your hand, and then I have to give you one of my choice. Even though I I would take any health to defense once we get right here. So what did we have for the offense? Um, I would like to think so. Wow, you got more cards than me. That's impressive. I'm loaded. <laughs> so you, did you invite everyone? I just no, I just invited him. Oh. He came in. And you invited everyone? I did. Oh, you just invited Tom? Yep. Uh, oh. Which side? Your side. Attacking and inviting. Protecting your babies. Oh. Come on over, team defense. Where's all the green I'm chips? I'm sure we will crush them like a bug. Where are all the green chips? Yes. yes. Oh, the sun is there. The sun is there. Oh, okay, there we go. That's all I do. That's what you want to negotiate. Are you kidding? Oh, you're the defender. We could have made that clear earlier. Thirty. Thirty-eight to twenty-nine. Thirty-eight to twenty-nine. Defense is down. Yeah. Got anything? Yes, I do. Some earlier. Okay. 32. Uh, I'll use our side for nine damage. So they're ahead by three now. I got nothing. Well, I'd like to help you, except I gave that card to him and I knew he had it. <laughs> um, I don't know if that is. Send me a Am I dying? No! No one dies here. This is the feel-good table. Nobody dies. Everybody lives! Alright, so, so we, you get four rewards, I get four rewards. <coughs> Quartermaster does his thing. Oops, it's gone. Okay. So that flips to my turn then. So I'll take two and two. All right, so... Oh, yeah, rewards. Are you, who else got rewards? Two of us, David. Two and four. I had two, he had four. So two and two. Two and two. And Which two are you taking your two from? Rewards, yeah. Come on, Tom, hook me up. I'm not giving it to him. Okay, that's right. Tom, I can help you, though, see? Don't cross me right when it becomes your turn. I've never played with dual powers. I am not afraid of you. <laughs> and, uh, I'll, let, I'll let you guys rule on So you got two? And you get four? This is, this yes, these are definitely the two you're getting. Kind of Please let them be zeros. Uh, it won't, well, it won't matter what he does. Okay. We'll put it that way. I'm going to be in the eight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
Oh, you're kidding. Can I just remove this planet and run? Oh, hold on now. Okay, okay. so you have the ace. And I assume Which I should have noticed okay. because it's not on the top of the pile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that when you Where did it go, Tom? I thought. Oh, because so, I look at the Optimus thinking, huh? Yeah, refresh out of the box. So, game set up. I remove one of my planets from the game, setting the ships on it to the war. And I didn't do that at the beginning because he wasn't in the game yet. Right. And then it says at the start of my turn, if I have any foreign colonies, I use the power to win the game. You may still win the game via the normal map. Yes, but that so, doesn't win you the game so, now. So you can zap we it. Have to have, no, we have to have one round before you can get it. Right. Right. Well, it says at the start of my turn, if you have yes, any Yes, I know. Colonies. But it doesn't actually come into play until you reveal it. Right. Otherwise, it would be such a cheesy. We would eliminate Ace from hidden ballots. Well, that's what I was wondering. So okay. I should have revealed it on his turn. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could have. Are you saying we need to go around the table no. one whole time? <laughs> that's that's what I, I picked it because I thought it was interesting. I didn't want to be a jerk that's about the it. Tricky, that's the like, tricky. That's I just thought alien. that's like a hilarious hidden alien. Yeah, it's yeah. there's actually no official rules on hidden. No. Alien. I mean, worst no. worst case scenario, we shuffle up and play. But. No, I, I think I, the way if I was playing my house, the way I would play is from the minute you have, when you from the minute you showed it, has to go around the table one time. So you would reveal it now when you did, which gives everybody one chance to so get rid of my one column. Right. Otherwise, it's just too powerful. Oh, I agree. We would never be. Oh, I agree. Right. Even so, if we zap you, okay, we could zap you, and it would go around the table. So again. you're saying it's got to go around the table one time after it's revealed, <coughs> and then it then it could be zapped. And then it has to go around again. I, that's why you I'm can going. still win the normal way. Yeah. Right. No, I understand. That. that it's not sense? meant to be a walk in the park together. No, but, I, I get. I understand. But yeah, you're in a good spot. I mean, we've got to do something with your with your well, colony. I mean, if we can just get zapped on the beat on my turn every turn, then this guy's gonna. <laughs> right, but I mean, eventually the zaps go, go away. Though. That's the problem. So does does. The, yeah, I lose the stuff. It goes, it goes to the warp. And yeah, it goes to the warp. That's what it says. Yeah. It okay. goes in the warp when he tries to use You know, I just realized this probably doesn't matter. Right? Because I think we can stop him even on uh, his own turn. Oh, I'm sure you can. Because I mean, me. okay. somebody's going to win before he gets back around him anyway. Are you sure? Probably. It should be you. <laughs> We're only at two. Oh, it's good. I'm just saying it's, it's a third of a lot of turns. Okay. Um... The, the last part of this you guys probably want to know is other players may have an encounter at one of your foreign colonies whenever the destiny card drawn allows them to target either your home system or the system that hosts that foreign colony. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so if you draw purple, you can choose to attack, but it doesn't have to just be purple. Alright. Okay, so. Um, so I guess I did that on my start of turn, so now I actually get to regroup one of these. And Destiny deck. Yep, Destiny me. Special. Fewer ships in the war. Oh, that's Mr. Vassal. Who's attacking me? Red. I don't remember what I gave you right there. Nothing good. Wait. Okay, how many ships is in him? I mean, do you just want to go to two colonies right now? There could be a party at two. Alright. Really? I won't ask anybody. Party at two. Alright. Seriously? Seriously? Ooh. That That's... It's this game about negotiation now? That's, that says that's the guys that did that on the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Well, actually, I'm thinking now, because giving you two colonies is really dangerous. Yeah, right. Well, you can't get rid of his. You can't get rid yeah, of one, much less two. I'm going to have to say no here. Woo! Because, <laughs> There's no because way we'll of that. Two. We can get rid of one of your colonies. Giving you two is... Of course, you don't want to put more than one ship on his colony. Problematic. Yeah. See, the ace would be really good if you managed to get three out there. Because we'd have to stop you all the way around. You only have one out there. If you had more than one, it would have been much harder. It would be really bad. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. I, need I might have to ban Ace from being a hidden power. I would. It could be tricky. I almost didn't take it just because I felt bad. But... Yeah, there might be some uh, cannot be 
I'd like, I'd like to put sticky notes. But as a game setup, aren't most games set up alien? Yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe if you make me take it out at the beginning, then you can then my hidden. No, no, no you should probably out. say if it, if it requires game setup, you can't hide you it. You can't hide it. Because oh. you can't bring in a new way in the middle of a game that requires a game setup. Right. For, for, well, either way, I think we're playing it okay we're fine. here. Okay, well, nobody's going to help me, but if you guys want to attack with me, feel free. I'm, not, I'm bringing the full force. You know, I... Snagglepuss. I mean, two colonies isn't really a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, could, what do you think? You guys could go to three. Some help? You know what? I will negotiate with you. <laughs> no, no, I can do that, right? What's your logic? This is legitimate. Yes, this is legitimate. I'm not. <laughs> no, it's totally legitimate, but. Because oh, I, I know what you have and I know what you have. Yeah, we can do it. I'm not asking anyone out. Wait, what you're saying is you need us to get you out of the negotiations. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you know what? That's that's not my problem for oh, some reason. <laughs> if you want to let him win because I made a mistake, you can blame that on me, but I'm still willing to do it. So we're negotiating again. Huh? I, I still ask for allies. All right, so you're still out asking for allies? Yeah, I mean, we're barely negotiating, okay. but... Okay, and, and he's going to... But did, And you're not inviting allies? I'm not. All right. I think it is negotiation. Now, if you this. lie to me... I'll put a ship on your side. you're lying to me. What? Okay, if I lie to you... Of course he's lying to you. It would be a terrible idea, four ships. I am not lying. And if you attack here, you'll be revealed for the liar you are. I will completely... And I will play one bit. I'm gonna not. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you wouldn't blame him for, for lying? Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Wait, are you inviting people and saying you're gonna negotiate? Because if you are, then I gotta pull back and negotiate. Because I'm not gonna, if he comes in, <coughs> then all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he's inviting people, I'm going in on that shit because if we're gonna sing. Why are you uh, inviting other people if you're gonna negotiate? You're negotiating. I, I'm willing to. Oh, we're not gonna negotiate? Uh, this is that's a negotiate card? Yes, it's a negotiate card. Because if it's not, card. you're going to get it. There's, there's no way I'm at one planet. If I lie to you now, what do I get out of it? Me not having two planets and not getting to go second time. All right. All right. I didn't lie, but I am going to quash the deal. Uh, okay. Okay. And that just stops the deal altogether? Only both of those three ships. Okay, I'm not going to that. We have a card set. Whiz. Oh, you know what? No, no. Let him zap it. All right, you lose a ship. Okay, so. Okay, okay. now start the timer. <laughs> well Don't make the deal, huh? Well Sorry. I'll give you your flare. I'm so greedy. Okay, that's true. How about we make a deal that doesn't involve planets? I want a planet. Oh, no, no, then there's no deal. <laughs> planet for planet, and I'll give you your flare. You have to give me your whole hand. Whole hand? Your whole hand, I'll give you a planet. That's the only way I'm working on it. Ooh. I'll give you your flare. No, no, with uh, not, not, not even re remotely negotiating. Whole hand, and, and I'll do a planet, and a planet for planet. Otherwise, you're not getting one. I can lose so you want ship. you want my whole hand? You better have for about ten seconds. Oh, you want my whole hand, and you want a planet too? Yes. Oh wow. Hands terrible. Oh. 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 What? No. All right. Oh. That's for you guys now. I mean, I, I don't have the cards to stop this. Okay, so. You have one card. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so I mean, I'm going again. Oh. Where's my card? Oh, just one one ship? I thought we were doing the full thing. No. Do you want to renege? I'll, I'll lose the ships. So you're saying I only get one guy? In the yes. Alright. I'll take it. No. Can you hand me eight cards? Eight? Oh, right. I gotta draw. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Wait. Hold on. Whose turn, whose turn is it? It's mine. I just regrouped. Actually, you're done. Why? 
Because you don't have any encounter cards, right? Oh, yeah. That's true. Sorry. <laughs> nope, you're right. I did. <laughs> you're correct. And I don't get those And he yet. doesn't get them until he gets attacked. Yeah, yeah until, I, until I need them. Okay. All right, so we're going to play... We're going to play Wild Alchemist. I can discard one non-encounter card. This is from my sheet from the host. One non-encounter card from my hand. Take a different card of the same type, artifact, reinforcement, or flare from the discard pile. Oh, wait a second. That's not the discard pile. Yeah, this should be on here. Yeah, but that's technically... I'm not trying. So, I'm going to discard... I, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. No, I'm not even sorry about that. Oh, from any discard pile, so we're okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about not being sorry. That I know that's a lot of not sorry. Are we good? No, no I've, got, I've got to discard an artifact because I want to omni zap. So we're going to discard motion control. All right, well, if you got omni zap, you can blow a ship up. That's right. See, I told you guys to clean up my problems. See? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> it's a lot of work cleaning up after you talk. Yeah, you keep making is... messes. Okay, so but you'll help us out. You'll, you'll pay us back. Me. Oh, oh, yeah. It's not my turn. My turn. Oh, sorry. Most foreign colonies other than me. So that goes. That's to yellow. Me. All right. Before we do this, oh yeah, we first we gotta set up the ships. So when do you do your feet? Feet. Uh, before thing? we pick cards. Okay, so I'm sending one ship, and um, do you think we can negotiate here? If yes, you don't, if you don't think we can. we can, I can kick you all over the room. No, we can negotiate. Really? Tom has become a gentle soul. Well, we negotiate by slapping people in the face a lot. But before really? we do that, I'm going to reveal my other power, which is the traitor. Oh, no! <laughs> so, that's... Uh, that's interesting. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> you should have realized that since I played that. Whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, are you putting this onus on me now? Well, I'm just going to do this while you're deciding. I'm playing a ship zap. Fantastic. <laughs> to the war, right? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't know if the Omni zap can... Oh, it can. It can mimic the ship zap. It can mimic any zap. In well, that's what it is. I, I was trying to figure out how you were saying that. All right, so you guys negotiating, or are you going to invite the people... I cleaned up my own problems, guys. <laughs> Well, half of them. What? I didn't make that problem. That was you. <laughs> that was all you. Is that your card? Uh, <laughs> that was your vote for me. winning. For <laughs> okay, so anyway, I am asking everyone to help me. I'm cool. You want to negotiate? Oh, well, I, I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay, well, you know now that I had to negotiate and I wasn't lying. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know you have at least one. You know you're not yeah, gonna let's push. negotiate. I got a good card here. Let's do it. I'm not inviting anyone. Thank you all. And I already played the quash, so I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, we'll say the loser gets two cards from the winner's hand. Just, oh, okay. Just cover himself. Right. One, two, three. This is an epic oratory. We can do two planets with two planets. Oh. Wanna? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, here. Put two on each one. All right. Well, can I do that then, too, yeah, please? Sure. All right. Absolutely. Wow. All the way up to four. Right. Don't want to zap them. Why right. can't we be friends? Yeah. Don't worry. We'll get around the table again. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... I didn't lie to you at all. <laughs> all I did was just not make a deal. It's true. So you can take that one back. 
Thank you, sir. It's okay. All right, let's see. Let that was go mine. Go. Yeah, that was it? yours. Oh, man, I hope I draw yellow. We're going to need an alliance. But you don't have another negotiate. I feel so powerless. Yeah, well then, <laughs> negotiate for a win. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see here. Well, we, I could say the loser will get will get a planet. No, it doesn't work because only one only one of us can do it. Oh, the winner gets the winner still gets a planet. You right? have that card. Somebody has to play an attack card. Right? Look at your flares. <laughs> what? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because I, huh? I have both of them. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm attacking yellow. I'm asking no one to help. I'm not attacking that planet. <laughs> I'm attacking that one. Okay. Just in case, okay? I'm sending All right. four ships, again, just in case that you cheese out. Are you asking anyone to help you? No. All right, so I'm going to play it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We have a problem. Oh. <laughs> well, in an orange shirt. I forgot about this. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I know. Come on yeah. now. No, no, no. But it still works though, right? Because the winner still gets a planet, and the loser would get. Does it? Does this cancel the normal play, or does it modify it? No, he has that stupid Omni Zap. He's gonna zap anything we do. Right, but I, I can. No, he can zap your power. Right, but I can declare extra gains for the winner or the loser. So if you win, then you would get the planet anyways, right? Then I can declare the loser also gets a planet. So this is an extra gain on top of what would normally happen. Uh, I'm cool with that. All right. Three to play. But it's still zappable, right? So you can't win. You can't. No, I, I'm not going to play a flyer. I'm going to declare. No, so this is zap count. zaps a power. Oh. Yeah. Right. So if well, it's this is zap the power, so I can't put the flare there. Because if he zapped the power, then I could put the flare, and he, he wouldn't have the zap anymore. The flare allows you to use the power, so he could zap the flare or the power. But if he zaps the flare, then I can still use the power, right? He won't zap the flare, he'll zap the power. If he zaps the power, you can use the wild flare. I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, yeah, if you he become, you can use the, the wild, wild. Side, you right. can't use the super. Oh, okay. Right. Is that how that works? Yeah. Because he's not... Because he's no power. longer the judge, he's... Any other I see. Well, well, hang on then. Well, I already said I was going to attack you. So, have you decided to invite some? Some? Well, you're not going to get any. No one's going to join me. Yeah. All right. Just do one show. So maybe you ought to invite allies. What does that get me? Well, nothing. You can't you lose this. You can't, can't lose. Win. Right, but you you play you play a low card. <laughs> and I'll play a, a slightly less low card, and so I'll win, and you lose one ship. I mean, what do I get for playing a super high card, right? Like, well, okay. well, you don't okay. listen. Listen, this is where we're at, though. Okay, I'm ready. I want to win. I don't really. If you if you win too, that's okay. great. But <coughs> but if I can pull it off, I might as well try for it, right? You gotta fight this, man. Yeah. You gotta fight it because you never can't trust him. To, to I'm not. I'm not being untrustworthy. No. I'm gonna okay. say I'm trying to win. Right. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. I declare loser gets a planet. Right. Loser, loser gets a planet. So we're going to make him play that Omni Zap, but if you play that Omni Zap, you're going to give the game to red. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> this one, I'm liking him a lot more than you guys. You guys seem to be conspiring. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, before we do this, though, I'm going to do some go fishing here. Uh, I would like... An Intimidate 19, if you happen to have one. <laughs> Whoa, lucky guess! Wow, amazing. So it looks like we're going to get an Intimidate. Okay, you, now, so, you, so who are you inviting? I'm not inviting anyone. Oh, you're not. No. Loser gets a planet. Is yeah, your, is he's going to lose, and they're both going to win. Oh, okay, unless, unless fine. Everyone is invited. There you go. Everyone, open invitation. But then we help him, and then he loses. Well, we can zap the power. Okay, we for sure can zap the power. We can zap the power. Unless we're sitting on a card zap, and this whole conversation is moving. Well, and then, then the game's over. Yeah. 
So we gotta do what we can do. Defense. What's that? Yep. All right. So 14 to 4, it looks like to me, gentlemen. And Mr. Vassal. Yeah, now, hey, if you. Okay. I am fortunate to go home. You don't have any cards. That's why I was hoping I was getting attacked. I thought I was refreshing my hand right away, and then I realized we realized I could get a second hand. Okay. That's it. Ready? Oh, I lost! <laughs> I must take a planet on someone else's! Oh! Oh, no, no. Oh. You gotta zap it? Zap your power? I had a kicker, I thought might help, but it's not guaranteed. No, you're supposed to play the kicker first. Uh, they will play face down before we play these. Oh! Okay, well, so, it doesn't help. So at this point, he's losing your power would give him a planet. Am I understanding yes. that right? Yeah. Ah! Oh, you have a cosmic zap? <laughs> Why did you just say so? Alright, so that's that. I lose these four ships all no, die. No, keep them, keep them, Tom. No, I'm just going to take them, actually. Oh, no. Well, well, my car here. well, then you guys. Okay. Here's my four ships. Choke on them. Alright. <laughs> the two of us would like rewards. What do you want? I'll take rewards. All rewards? Four rewards? Two, two, two. two and two? Now give me something good, Tom. I can I can get you back in play here. I'm cool with that. That was my moment. It's gone. So you took. So tell. So what are those ships in the pirate here? Uh, during the regroup, I can put as many of these in the middle I want, and then get my rewards. Or I can negotiate with Tom. So we can get them back. No, I draw one too. He can give me, you know, a colony or something if you want For ships. Ready? Yeah. Blue. <laughs> Was that a, is that got a, that's a hazard, right? That is. So if you got any of those fancy double cards. You know what? And which side do you use on the hazard, the black or the white? This would be so much easier if you just had to negotiate, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's time but to he fight. Uses, he used his uh, <coughs> whatever is app, right? Or just have an Omni Zap. Is Omni Zap type a uh, type of a cosmic zap, or is it like a separate? It can be. Zap? It can be anything he wants it to be. Okay. It's an, it's an unbelievably good card. You just have to lose chips to do it. Okay. Which she would do to stop from winning the game. Yeah. Okay. You were sitting there hoping that we all self destruct <laughs> so you win. I don't have much other option right now. It's looking less and less. Why not? Like. Um. You want to try and make a deal on this, or you just want to fight it out? How can we make a deal? You mean with your power again? I'm going back to back. So I'm only making a deal not. if the loser gets something. Because the winner getting something doesn't help me. Okay. Well. Because let's say I win. If I win. It, no, the, the loser is better for you anyway. Because if the loser gets something. I guess and, and you, yeah, if you win, you get it anyway. That's why I'm saying I only make a deal if you say the loser gets something. Because if you say only the winner gets something, then I'm, then I have to win. Yeah. If you say the loser gets something, I don't care who wins. And in fact, I will try to actively lose. No, I think I'm just going to attack. Nice. Going to go for the win? Yep. That's not going to happen. Okay. So I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask everyone to help me then. This is going to go on. All right. 
But I'm gonna need a lot of stuff. I got you. So. All right. Well, I don't know what you need, Tom, but I've got. A <coughs> Do you have an attack 200? Here's something you might enjoy. <laughs> it's a draw card. Draw card. <laughs> wow. Yes! <laughs> I'm in. I got garbage. Why are you. Oh, you're offering me that? But I know what I gave you. Well, I mean, in case you. I didn't know what you. I don't know what you have, so in case you need it. Let me see. Yeah, in case you need it, but. But if you don't need it, then I mean it's not. It, it might may not be what you thought. Now, what did did you? So there's no. The loser gets nothing here. Loser gets nothing. I didn't use the power. I'm gonna play kicker. Oh. I'm gonna have to do this. Then. Hold on now. Let's see. Okay, I've got to do this. I got to play the uh, clone flare. I don't have to discard any artifact that I play, and then I got to play the Omni Zap to cancel the kicker. And I'm going to play the uh, wild healer, which allows me to cancel all copies. Yeah. And I'm going to cancel the wild healer. Use a ship. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, that goes out of the game. That goes out of the game. Or a three that you kill. So is the card gone now then? The kicker is gone. That canceled the kicker. You would have won. Yeah, but it, it multiplies everything by minus one. So, yeah. So, I'm going to so play a kicker. Flips. <laughs> no, because if he plays a five and he plays a ten, oh, both then, sides then, then yeah, yeah, oh, I felt like that was going to work. Yeah. Oh, well. I thought it was almost like dead. The one I know, right? Be lower than the Can't help that he's drawn all the zaps, that's for sure. He stole the Omni Zap. I don't know where that card's at. I didn't give it to him. That's from his stupid healing power. And the fact that he has half the deck in his hand. You were deal you dealt it to me. I did not give you a card zap. <laughs> no, in the initial deal. Oh. Initial deal. Okay. That is a lot of cards. You need to fight him and steal his whole hand. I have I don't have a negotiate, but I have a card that will become a negotiate if you play a negotiate. Oh, but you do not want to play a negotiate. Because that sounds How's that possible? I don't remember giving you that card. It's an intimidate. I, it, because, it says, opposed by anything else other than attack, becomes negotiate, attempt to deal. All right. Are doing this? Yes. Um, this still takes place because if you, um, a kicker, if you if you cheat me, then I would get double compensation okay. or whatever it is on the card. All right. All right. So, opposed by anything else, becomes a negotiate. But at the bottom Oh, that's interesting. I forgot that about Intimidates. All right. Uh, point up for Wow. All right. Anyone want to mess with us? Nobody's got a quash or anything. All right. Nope. Huzzah! Yeah. Here's the deal, though. If, yeah, if we had failed on that, you would have probably won. Yep. Because he, didn't, he had used up all your stuff to kill that ship, didn't you? No, because I have the clone flare that lets me keep all my artifacts. Yeah, he would just cancel that power. I can keep, and then with the card. Well, yeah, you should only have been able to keep one of them, right? It doesn't say you keep all. You don't discard any artifact you play. Instead, you may retain it and play. It, it says it, 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 though. Yeah, that is singular. I think it would be too powerful if you could get, like, five of them. Yeah, I could just keep them. Yeah, that, that could be. But I did retain it once after I killed his kicker. But he would have card. Yeah, then the cards have, I should have discarded. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Right. Not that oh, we worked hard for that. We did. That was a lot of effort. No, that was not we worked hard. We worked hard around all, all the obstacles you threw in the back. That doesn't negotiate the jump and shoot a four. Oh, okay. Pretty, However, pretty if he had, if he had just beaten the snot out of me, 
this would have uh, blown up all your ships. And then I was going to cosmic zap your power so that they would stay dead. <laughs> yeah, that's a good game, guys. That, that, was, game, fun. Guys. that, that was, fun. was fun. Double power games are crazy. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I really wanted to draw a green so I could trade cans with you. All right. All right, there's the players. Here's the rewards. No, I couldn't believe you gave me the host out of the deck, Tom. <coughs> the what? Red ships. Well, I don't know you designed No, it. you didn't know. I know you didn't know. I thought I was pretty lucky. Can you want to toss me the red flag, please? You? Awesome. Got a friend! Can't, Tom, if you'll hand me that stack, I'll alphabetize it. Yes, sir. Take wow, we really... That was, that was four yellow planets I had at the end, didn't I? Four of my planets came from yellow. That double negotiate really helped out. Especially since I felt very confident because I had just played the box on our thing. <laughs> what a peaceful game. No blood, nothing. Yeah, that's no blood. It didn't feel peaceful, though. All right, now I'm two for two here. Back right. on. Who won the designer game? Yeah, I saw that on Facebook. Oh, yeah, well, okay. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> it was Who late. Who came in last place? Oh. It's more of the <laughs> thing. Uh, I, I had a terrible... We played double powers, and my combination was just awful. No one wanted to help me. I had to pick me. They only got half a planet. And nobody wanted to, to make deals with me because they only got half a planet out of the deal. That's the one where you had to get two shivers a planet. Yeah. Okay. I have all the expansions, but I have no idea what 75% of the aliens uh, I'm going to take a walk around a second before I play another game. If it's okay, I wouldn't mind switching out if other people want to play. So that nope, game. that's good. Hey, that's a good game. Well, I, that's there you go. Nice. Well, I just got it from the second the second edition Kickstarter. So mine's in the mail somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't. It's, it's probably your house right now. It might be in my house. They just sent an email today that if you don't have it, to be emailed. I saw that. Yeah. So yeah. I appreciate your videos and stuff. So thank you. Thank you for getting yeah, the game. You've, you've cost us probably all a lot of money. I apologize. You'll get the expansion of who knows when. It's okay, this is enough game. I have nothing to do with that expansion. I just want to make that clear now. With the studio, the video, though. Oh, you mean the production. With a lot of it, actually. I did the initial design. I feel pretty confident about it, but I'm not working with them anymore, so I don't know where it is at this point. Is it as bad as it, the rumors are? Like, is, is everything oh, bad? Uh, as long as you don't quote me on this, I would say the rumors uh, are actually street, fair. So. The rumors are actually. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you about that. I'll be back. Thanks for that cat.
Mm. Oh, you took my food. Well, they're just to throw it for a second. And my black isn't even in here. Alright. You want in? You're in. What are we playing here? You just played a double power game, right? Yep. Yeah, was it, was it, was it, were any of them secret? No. Alright, so now we're going to play double power, but one of them is secret. You can reveal it when you want to, um, but when you reveal it, it goes into effect. So if it's, a, if it's mandatory, like um, an antimatter. So let's say you're playing antimatter. And the lowest number that doesn't that doesn't count until you reveal it. If it says game setup on it, then you can't use it as your secret one. Okay. Because those are kind of hard to to get into the game. There's a few that say game setup, so those can't be your secret one. You can handle a bunch of things that. You, you can handle a bunch of things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play a... Oh, we're alive, by the way. Um, we're going to play a um, four-player... Don't be worried. <laughs> Professional. That's not heavy enough. Can you grab that Gear World game that no one's going to play? Oh, yeah, no, no, wait, wait. Nothing personal. It's the heaviest game I know. Now we're huge, man. Wow. Yes. Look at that. Success. It's been planned for. It wasn't meant to be. Well, I don't know though if this is going to work. Let's see. <laughs> you sat there! <laughs> <laughs> No, but I might, I might move down in this scene. We'll see. Alright, I don't remember anyone's names. No. I'm not even a guy. Jesse, that's right. You were blue. What's blue? That I remember. I'm Josh. Josh and Chris. Chris. Can anyone have names like... Frank, some Frankenstein or something that's really easy to remember. Play my parents. <laughs> do you remember? I do play my parents, huh? Do you remember something easy to remember? It's something really cool. Like, the one guy here's name is Raven. It's like, I remember his name. That's cool. I don't know if it's his real name or his nickname. I never asked those questions. Yeah. So. I'm terrible with names. I will um, shake your hand and say, hey, I'm not going to give you a name Usually, it's all I've heard someone's name shouted at at least three times. Devlin. I'm probably going to go All right. <laughs> See what's being used right now with All right, so we're playing double powers. One of them is hidden. You reveal it, but you can't pick anything that says game setup as you're hitting. Who won the last game that you guys played? Okay. Because it's not good to win two games in a row. So, we will win. <laughs> I, I disagree with your opinion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Doesn't matter what I'm talking about myself. I've won two out of four since I've gotten here. Uh, three. I think so, yeah. I'm in Sambo. Then it's your, two, it's your time. It's your time. You're two I'm for three? Every, yeah. I'm every bit of my power. Oh, do you normally not? No. I'm like, I, I have some. Does that include like saying, hey, can you come over here? I'm all you and you. And night and you. You don't negotiate. There have been those kinds of things. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just play with this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to explain it. Fantastic. You ready to get uh, four of these? You pick two. We'll just have to go through the deck. And, um, keep them both in and then we'll all do the other one at the same time. Okay, <laughs> give those cards. I'm going to try to no slides I'm going to go ahead and give you those. I'm glad I spent some time shuffling <laughs> over So, the last time, the last time I played with one of my friends, it almost cost our friendship. Was he still your friend? You make uh, that sound like the last No, it, it actually put a dent in our friendship. And he actually went through the entire game. He took all of my pieces, all of the pieces, <laughs> dumped them into the board, or into the box. Then he took every single deck of cards, shuffled Just them up, all together. flipped half of them, shuffled <laughs> them up, flipped it. <laughs> so I had to go through my entire, I just spent a good 45 minutes. And I just sat there and watched you. What did you, I, you know, this is one of those games that I've seen a lot of yelling and hollering, but I've never seen anyone really get angry over it. He's a really heavy Euro player. So he doesn't like these kinds of games at all. You shouldn't have introduced him to the game, man. <laughs> I figured maybe. That'd be funny. Yeah, yeah, it was a social experience. Did you win? No, not at all. Did he win? No, he lost even more so. Then why would he be mad at you? Because I made him play this game. <laughs> After I told him I never would again. Uh, it was one of the It was all of the cards. It was all of the cards. <laughs> See, you don't get that kind of reaction. That happens in Kato's though. There's those times where you're like, oh, three blue cubes! <laughs> and the whole table stands up and cheers. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> you know, we used to talk about that when we played Bucket for Card games. We said, you know, if I was really mad, I ripped up one of the cards. And then I had a feeling, I said, well, then I'd rip up one of yours. And it would ask you, like, like, <laughs> all the cards now. <laughs> That's the natural progression of how many handle things. It's not happened yet. I right, check this one that I'm giving you to make sure. So far, so good. All right. Mind if I take a picture of that just so I can show? Yeah, yeah sure. Complicated. Just do halfway through. Yes. So the two parts that I don't select, they go back. They go here. Now we know two, you're not. I think I just got it down to 134. Actually, 130 because I know the four I was. Should do a draft. That's a. Um, you can play a. I played, I've seen people play a three power game where you got three powers, you picked one, gave it to the end, and the next two. 
Okay, that, that would be fun. I think well, you're here all weekend. We can, yeah. we can, we can <laughs> set it up. This is just a warm up day. Fortunately, I'm leaving before it gets too crazy tomorrow. <laughs> Were you just here for yesterday and today? I'm leaving tomorrow around lunchtime. Okay. I just can't be away from home that, that many, that long. <laughs> well, it's kind of convention season, so you see. Well, not that it's convention season, it's just that if I'm gone a week every month or so, after a while, like it's, I gotta be careful. I was gone a week for Gen Con, I'll be gone a week for Essen, um, I was gone a week for Origins, a week for Dice Con. Yeah. That adds that's up awesome. over the years. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, see, that's the, the, the cross section is I work from home. So I'm around all the time. Oh, well, my wife is always like, yeah, see you later. <laughs> Go on, leave for a while. Did you pick? Oh, you pulled all four of them? All right. for the one you're keeping on your shuffle in the deck. Okay. okay. <laughs> not, little, not when you're watching them. <laughs> Although that does, I, I do like that that gives you a, you could draw a flare and you know that someone is that all in. That's, that's a cool thing about the game. We could throw in when we played the same player game, we threw in an extra player so that you still weren't 100% sure. sure. We could do that if you guys want. There's more players in the game that way. Right? Go for it. I like the players. Yeah. All right. So what's cool about this game? Is it so there's five more players in there that... So now you don't know anything when you see a player. Yeah. Is it a two you're keeping? Yep. On the show. Make sure as you use it. Yeah, you have to. Otherwise, you can't use it. So if you want to use it, show. Are we all on? Yeah. Oh wait, where's the yeah? Those flares are going. Just go away. These are flares are getting mixed. All right, here we go. Last call, nine thirty. Yes, sir. Just for kids. Yeah, no, it was just earlier than I thought. I thought it'd be like eleven or something. 
eventually cooks get to Does anyone here want to go get something or don't want to? No, I'm pretty good. Oh, I guess we can uh, reveal our powers we're we showing at the beginning. Uh, I'm the Mesmer. I'm the Mesmer. The Mesmer is... I can play any artifact card as if it was any other artifact card. Tick tock. He ends the game. Every, anytime somebody defends, no, yeah, defends successfully or makes a deal, you get rid of a token from the sheet and you start with a ten. Ten tokens. You're the cudgel. You're a jerk. <laughs> Here's the cudgel. Jerk. No, the cu well, when you win with an attack card, you can make them lose extra ships. <laughs> the number of ships, yeah. You're brute force. What do you got? I got the parasite. In. Parasite? Are you kidding? <laughs> Alright, I play the parasite in almost every game. Isn't that funny? As many aliens as there is. What I need to do is once I put them in and I stick them to the side, when I deal out the next game, they're from the different. The <laughs> Alright, right, so he can join an alliance whether we want them or not. Then we have the barbarian. Um, just blow their hand up. I really, um, look at this stuff coming out of his mouth. Use some mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> That's really who you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a smoking commercial. <laughs> I feel confident that neither of you will win. Take a stack, I don't care if you get much stack. I like this one. Oh my goodness! I would like everyone on the screen to see my opening hand. That is ridiculous. Unfortunately, I'm now going to have to block the view so when it replays, you guys don't see that. <laughs> that was insanity. <laughs> so what's this delay? How long is it? Like 20 seconds or so. Oh, so 20 seconds. <laughs> Buy this game while you're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. What a plug. <laughs> Actually, it's longer than 20 seconds. Okay. okay. Anyhow, um... All right, here. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Stare at this game. <laughs> It's kind of a sucky game. It's I designed it. Um, <laughs> it's a game about you're working the mafia, you're trying to control gangsters. It's very chaotic. It's very I, I wouldn't say it's like Cosmic Encounter, but it's in the same box. It's in the same category. There's definitely a negotiation. It tests for more than this game. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Stop. Oh, you said stop. Green. Your first. Yes. Next. No. I like that the parasite goes first, actually. <laughs> Keeps it from jumping on the bandwagon. Alright. You're hitting the guy. Okay, you're hitting purple. Good. Double one. We're not asking anyone? I'm asking everyone. And purple? Everyone? Um, how do you feel? I'm feeling alright. 
How are you feeling? <laughs> Because <laughs> 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 we just couldn't feel by the track, it's here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's well, these people say TikTok wins, start the game again. I've never seen TikTok win. Because he looks so powerful, everyone's like worried about him the whole game. Ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So that's what you're saying. All right, about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're feeling great, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know how I can feel better. Right? So when you get a ten, is that like, oh, this crap? <laughs> that's gotta be depressing. It's like, you should put on a card drive. Sorry, Chris. Well, I'm also gonna take. Wasn't your fault. This time. <laughs> yeah! Oh my goodness! Alright. Alright. So it's my turn. Yes, it is. Give me a card. Most cards in the hand, actually, so that's going to be. <laughs> you just took four, right? Yeah, red. Red, huh? Oh, I don't think a barbarian would negotiate anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Purple, who are you asking to help? Um, actually, anybody can help. We're uh, still in the starting line. Who are you asking to help, Brad? Who's okay. feeling stronger? <laughs> you feeling awesome? Yep. Alright, that's the attack. Oh, now, TikTok does not win viewers very often in the games I play. He can win, but if players are cognizant of that fact, have you guys played with TikTok before? No. Okay, well, keep an eye. Okay. No! The good thing about TikTok is it keeps the game from going too long. It's going to end. No. Well, that eight player game they're playing over here with everything in it. That's that probably will take Alright, deal? No? A 10? You're supposed to yell, right? I'm ready to sit down. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Are you anything happening here? <laughs> Alright, guys, we're losing by four. Four. Anybody got a plus one? I can add something, but it's not enough. I wish I could have, guys. What's that? Look at all that. Oh, it's like a poker game. Man, that is terrible. That was brutal. You never helped me. Why didn't you have this card? You have a gun dropping cards. If you would help people in their defenses. <laughs> All right, so now it's Red's turn, right? Yep. You're down to eight. I'm just gonna, just so you know, I'm not gonna let you get away with that. <laughs> Attack yellow. How open does one have to be about revealing the second pass? You can reveal it any time. You mean, can you like reveal it and no one's looking and all of a sudden you have it? But is, is, it is it something that, that would take that would be that would take effect and do I, do I reveal it when it would take effect? Yes. Okay. Or you can reveal it even 
most people read it when they're about to use it. That's what I said. That's what I said. It's alright. Oh, now we know. Yeah, that narrows it down to about 80. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going, to play, I'm going through it now to bed again. I'm all memorized. So who is How confident are you? I. Fairly cool. I, I asked for any allies. Yeah, I'm not asking for any I'm a person. I'm just the bandwidth. Are you having a defense? You want some help? I'm asking for all this. I think Red's going to throw it so that he can get another token off the sheet. I'm actually, you know what? I, I, I haven't been helping people out this too much. I've kind of been playing by myself. So I'm going to go in with the yellow. I'd like to draw some cards. Yeah! Nice switch. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, Sam, what? And I reveal the grudge. <laughs> well, that's, why, that's why I asked the question for clarification. That's true. Uh, it's it, yeah, you'd have to be when you ask okay. Sorry. I mean, you can still, still reveal it. It's not a problem. I'll reveal it now. But you reveal it when you ask for Alex. That's why, that's why I was asking the question. Yeah. Who won? Yep, yeah. we did. Four cards! I'll go two and two for me. So I have 12 ships in four. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Yes. No. <laughs> Thanks for that catch there. I will also do two and two. Shuffle I need to help Who's that? Oh, it's my turn? Wow, everyone lost so often, I'm not used to this. Green, let's make a negotiation. Don't negotiate? No, let's negotiate. Keep this don't from I feel very negotiable. I've proved this course back. Yeah, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, I'm going to send four ships, just in case you lie. <laughs> um, I will invite other people just in case. And I'm not, because I'm a trustworthy Well, so am I. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. Oh! We have one minute to make a deal and we can switch two colonies per person. Two? Two for two? Yes, please. Wow, we got, we're moving up on the board. Actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to put two. Oh, never mind. I'm good. We warned you! Nice. We're on the board. I, I have seen him. Sorry. Are you down to six targets? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 
you can lose. So basically, you have to. Well, yeah, but that's what you're only going to get to do it twice, and you have one other county, so uh, we'll do nothing. Alright. Whose turn is it? Oh, that's right, you're right. Sorry. Yellow! Let's negotiate! Sure. I'm asking everyone to help me, as usual. I'm asking all allies as well. I forgot about it. It's a very common issue. <laughs> Something slaps in the face, Okay. Oh, let's go a couple on uh, offense. Just for kids. Good. Alright, planet for planet. Sounds good to me. Alright. Whatever it takes, sir. I'm done, so now it's yellow's turn. Green. Uh, are you guys not, uh, friends? Yeah. Yes. Did you try to use that friendship for a 90 yes. minute game? I might have just done it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm so proud right now. <laughs> I asked for all allies. And Green, what did you say? I'm going to ask for and all allies. I'm happy. Green, four chips. Help me. Well, you know what? I want cards. Okay. okay. Yeah. Rudge, you're going to go all the way. I have faith in you on this one. Oh, you invited You invited me, so I got a grudge token? Yep. Would anyone else? I'm taking a grudge token in. Do I lose a ship? If he, if he refuses and I win, he's playing in Scarlet. This is one ship. If I lose, he's playing Scarlet's one grudge token and gets to lose his four ships. Four ships, huh? Four ships. That's really rude. Alright. Nice to take that No? Salt. Here's your grudge token. So you not, did, oh, you helped the grudge. Wow, apparently that blackmail works. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you know, it been good to know! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, cool card. He's like, fine! <laughs> well, I lose another ship, too, right? Uh, yes, Take your grudge token back. Find the new pass here. And you lose four ships. Four ships? Who's that? Extra ships. Oh, that's what you did. No, no. Oh, the grudge cudgel? You're not going to help me? You're not going to help me? Wait, I lose. But you were fighting me! Yes, you win in a 
counter this is called a force your opponent to use extra searches. Oh man, that's brutal. And it's mandatory, so I have no choice. Oh man. That's true. Never. Get back. You lose your power, you know. Is this one lost? I'm feeling the yeah, you can't flip it till you get to the yeah. Okay. At least one will lose it once. Huh. Interesting. How did you lose the third one? The one that's empty? Uh, oh, because so of the cudgel. Yeah. It was a brutal card. I told everyone that he was a jerk. <laughs> and it's being proved. Uh, He's so my I, friend. I tried to help him. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Yeah. Have an encounter with the person who has the fewest ships in warp other than you. Other than me. Because I definitely don't have the fewest ships in warp. Would you go twice? I'd go twice, yeah. Alright, so that looks like purple to me, right? Purple only has four. Yep. Alright, time for you to fight purple. <laughs> Green is fighting purple. No, he's attacking you. You're attacking. Yellow's attacking. Green's attacking. Oh, green's attacking. Green with his <laughs> green with his two ships. Yeah, I have four ships. You want to lose the planet? Your hidden power better be mass. Maybe it is massive. Uh, oh, that's true. You got to shift back at the beginning of your turn. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> back in the game. That, that's the ship you have to send out, too. We could strip a colony. That doesn't happen very often. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't even ask for it to, uh, people to help. I don't want to. <laughs> That's what I mean. We could have. We don't want him to lose another token. Ticked up. All right, we're too late. You've lost. That was a chest roll. All right, purple, your turn. Take a ship. You must attack yourself. Or three. Oh. Pick on that guy who's down. Oh, does anyone want to help? <laughs> 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 You're offering for allies, too? No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you guys in the near one of you guys for eyes? I asked for eyes. Yes, I didn't ask for Okay. I would have sent ships. Oh. It doesn't matter. He changed him into a motion That would cause. Yes. Cards up. Cards up. Basically, my system's very open. I'm like leaving it so that everyone else can. We appreciate that. Purple, that was once or twice. Oh, that's once. Flip the game. Blue. Can we negotiate? We can't negotiate. Um. Are you attacking my one or my two? Okay. You know? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
you guys were worried about the parasite. <laughs> That's a negotiate. If you're into the toys, you There it is. Yeah. Let's <laughs> make a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, plan for plan. It puts you at four. It does. It puts me at three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this real easy for you. If you don't do plan for plan, then no deal. Yes, I think it's a pretty good one. Alright, I can throw it. How many ships? One or two? Uh, a couple. Three ships, one. Or one. Yeah, one's fine. Bummer! That's kind of a stroke of luck for me, actually. Oh, <laughs> man. Alright, Red. You must attack Purple. I like Parasite, so Toby's too. Yeah. I'm going to uh, stop that. Oh. I'm the Mesmer. I can use this to name any artifact card. This says Ship Zap, but it's now a card zap. No Mobius tubes. Uh, I tried. Yeah. Yeah. I had hope that I could so, use more than purple. Yeah. Don't feel like that was against you. Although it partially was. <laughs> 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 yeah, I understand. <laughs> Purple, no. For those watching, we're playing with two powers, one hidden, one open. We're playing with the new rewards deck, nothing else. Nobody helped. Wait, is Red asking anyone to help him? Why are you asking no one to help you? You want to lose, Red? Yeah, you should lose the token. All right. All right. Send one, two, three ships. So Actually, you're attacking just send four. Right? No, green. Huh? If my building powers are workers, I can reveal it right now, dramatically, and happily. <laughs> so, defense needs to win, unfortunately. I am inviting everyone to help me. Of course he is. Gladly. Uh, I'm ask him. I'm a little undisplaced by this lack of. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. I might, I might lose here. Alright, what's the score? Looks like you're winning. Uh, <laughs> 16 to 16. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Guys, you get out of win! I want four power cards. Well, it was, it was a tough Base. choice. Not rewards? Yeah, rewards, that's right. Okay, and what else? Who else is <laughs> Alright, hello. You must attack me. I'm gonna roll over, just so you know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll out. over. Unless you're going to negotiate, in which case I'm totally willing to do that. <laughs> One help. One help? Sure. One help. Sure. Oh, for me. I'll take it from you. I'm not asking anyone to help. Because I don't like anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why did you invade Red? Oh, Chris. Alright. Well, he's in the same boat I am as far as that oh, goes. He's in a completely different oh, no. boat. Yeah, they have defense. Alright, alright, alright. Well, then you better win here. My, my people are like shooting each other well, on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> we blow up on ships. We're laying down red carpet. We're, we have signs pointing to generals with their all wearing bulls on. If you lose this, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we lost, and our crowd goes wild. <laughs> We're singing anthems. We're welcoming you all in. Nice. All right, purple though. This means we can do a joint thing here. Dirty win. Uh, you can negotiate win. Don't I just get win too? No, because our win would happen before your win happens. Maybe. Or a triple win. I don't care. But two people would not win. <laughs> Who are you attacking? I want to hand two of those. Alright, so I'm assuming you're not going to ask me. I'll ask you. I'll help you first. Because. Oh, well, yeah, not, not you two. Okay, I mean, if you have to win, if you lose this, if you lose the game. Unless I'm sitting on a cosmic zap, which would be a good really place to lose it at that point. I just literally threw everything I could at I'm really sorry about that whole <laughs> card zapping and all these two. No, it's, it's alright. I'll only remember It was the wise decision at the time. It was. Anybody? Wait. Yeah. About that. Are you asking about Oz? Oh, yeah, okay. Interesting. Which means I have no power anymore. Really? It's one not alone in that. Really? Great. Okay, so I can, I can <laughs> Alright, well this isn't gonna be pretty. Actually. Well wait, can I I can pass it? Like these types of cards? Alright. I think pass it, you pass them. That's hard. You intimidate things? Yeah. You can put Timidate down and add and offer him to use that instead of his cards. It's face so down now. You can't look at it. Wait. Are you an ally? Are you an ally? Oh, You're not an ally. Sorry. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, it's too late for anything else. I would. But, but. Oh. Oh. Man. Just win this TikTok. Well, he didn't win. If someone can cosmic zap his power right now. He can't win if someone can cast himself. <laughs> no song. Actually, yeah. Good point. Nice. If someone else plays a cosmic zip, he can't win. Alright, internet, shut up, TikTok won. But, <laughs> but I almost pulled it off. 
Kitty? Last kiss. Oh, sweet. I was trying to get my ships killed, and you tried to pull them back from the war. No! <laughs> we love death. You got this one the real way, which confused me. This at the beginning. I told you about it, you win then, because it happened, and you know, Well, actually, we all would have been on the game, so we would have won. Look at this, guys. I have five of them, if you've been watching. I have nine. Is that what you're showing the crowd? Zero and a six. <laughs> oh man. And another Jeez. zero nine. I had two oh. fives, three sixes. This game is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I got that game. I need a pacifist, that's what I need with that. Actually, I, I screwed up, we could have had one more turn because I, I misplayed a card. I forgot that I could have nailed this. They are the best. The flare that I can for years. Well, my goal was for you to, to win there. If these ships had all died, then the next one, I would have pulled off and helped her. At that point, you guys would have known I was the Mascus, because why would I do such a thing other than that? The Mascus is in my top five powers, but it's so hard to pull off. And I kept joining sides that won. It was really annoying here. Like, you won? <laughs> I kind of like his powers. Oh, his powers are fun. Yeah. But the reason that you can't this game set up, you have to do it. Otherwise, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out. <laughs> 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 well, I can't. What was your hidden power? Uh, I had. I forget the name, but I could reveal. Basically, if I lost as the offense, I could still take the colony. Yeah. Oh, spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was waiting. But then I got rid of that power. Ah, you got brutalized in this game. I apologize. It did go so well for me. I'm a bit responsible for a lot of that. I have a 50% win ratio. So. I had this thing where I could use artifacts with other artifacts, and then I drew one. <laughs> like, Come on! With my whole handful. <laughs> well, now I'm two and three. I don't know. Two wins, three losses. Well, it's kind of weird in Cosmics. Because you have to count like a joint win as... Less than a regular so single win. I don't know what your point score oh, is. I only have yeah, one that's total. Oh, wait no, 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 because then a loss oh, against a joint win is not as bad as a loss to a solo win. I feel good about any win. <laughs> My favorite win is when it's a four way win. <laughs> I had a three way win in a four player game once. And it was, on the person who it was, it was so satisfying. <laughs> so I don't know if I have another. I feel like playing a different game. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, terrible. <laughs> well, it's, hard. it's awesome. You, know, you can have a favorite game, but sometimes it's, you can have too much of a good game. You can have too much. That's five games. This is more cosmic encounter than I've played in the last year. Oh, well, that's not true for me. I play it more than that, but usually I play it. And I'm like, yeah, let me go to something else, which is usually a new crappy game. <laughs> so I wonder why you did that. We're taking off those. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, sir. That still bothers you? It still makes you a little nervous. 
Oh, it makes me, it's in good hands. Thank you to whoever did not pick Whirly Dude. <laughs> you are welcome. Yeah. Although in this game, it might have, he got a really a good hand of cards. And it was a, it, he drew those, he helped the, the defense so many times and they kept winning. And he kept filling up his hand of cards to stop us. The defense, it might have been in our best interest to tank a couple as defense. That's hard yeah, to do. I thought about that. I really realized that. Because so. I, so, I had the last two games, I hadn't had any card. I wanted some cards. Because every game, you got a couple of different cards. Well, I mean, it's so yeah, different. It's, 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 but every game's so different. Right. So different. It might be. I know he's gotten very close to winning, and then everyone does whatever they can, and someone else wins. What's one of those powers that the first couple times it happens, you're like, ah, it's I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I don't think I could stay up that long. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm tired now. I mean, it's, it's 11 o'clock. That's usually when I go to bed. So I start, start clearing for bed. Last, last week, we had a game day. And I was like, alright guys, you know, normally I go to bed around, normally I, on a Friday night is my bed, I still go to bed around a Friday night, but I still don't work today. So I'm like, alright guys, I'm going to stay up. So I made a, filled a 64 ounce growler with coffee. I drank an entire thing, and it made, I lasted until midnight. An entire pot of coffee got me one hour. My heart was racing, but it's still, I can't do this again. So I went to bed. Four mileage through that coffee. I used to get so annoyed with my grandparents. I went to bed at like nine. It's like, what is this? But I see that day, it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I now have an understanding of yeah, why that's Yeah, I'm not godly hour in the morning. <laughs> Like what? My wife used to do that, and I realized that I would wake up an hour before I had to get up, hating the fact that I was going to wake up soon. Good job, because I hated driving, and I slept so fitfully, knowing that <laughs> when you wake yeah, up, you got to go in the morning. I was, especially in Minnesota, you see people, it's, it hits 14 degrees, and you see that guy at 5 in the morning jogging. Like, I'm, I'm in my coat, happy that I gotta go drive to work in my heated truck, and there's just some guy jogging, like, he's having the best day of his life on a Monday morning. Do you hit him then? I have been tempted to. <laughs> like, thanks for making me feel bad. <laughs> No how good I feel my Monday years. That guy's on the time. He's all very well. He's very short. He's a lot of bad news. That's so funny. That soul tastes so sweet. I can't believe it. He's so good. I have half a mind to go to the library and visit his name. He's got a lot of them. He's got a lot of them. Did you play Asian War yet? A little dice game? Yeah. No. I might get around to it, but I'm not, I don't really care. It's just a little dice game. It's a risk the dice game and redone. I'm sure it's fine. I just, I'm not excited. I'm excited because at my house right now, Marvel Dice Masters, the Uncanny X Men, and I'm really pumped about that. <laughs> I assume they're not together. 
I was able to snag one, one copy. One copy here. Also, we got four. I just happened to walk through the next right time to grab the coffee. There's only one last. So, like, one of them. Ah. so and it's like, I mean, it's so fun. I don't know. I'm actually stressing it. I really like it. Tough to use. It's going to be high on my top 100. I really enjoy it. I'm so excited to get the new dice because the new dice are really cool. Um, it's a cheap collectible game for once. It's, it's the I mean, if you try to hunt down every guy, but if you just buy a pile of dice, you're good. Everyone complains about the price, but if you buy a single die here, what do they cost? Usually a buck. If you buy, and that's a die that says, that's green with one, two, three, five, six. These are two custom dice for a buck with cards. You can use it again. Cool stuff in the thing. The whole pack of it. Like 60, I think. 60 for. Uh, well, the, their new ones are going to have 100 packs in So they'll sell that for $100. Cool stuff to put down there. 70 or so. It's not bad. 70 for. You get 200 dice. <laughs> and that's a whole lot of game. It really is. I, I mean, I have everything, but I don't use everything. And I, if I didn't have everything, I wouldn't go on and on I would get a pile of dice. I'd, I'd buy a lot. Trade maybe to get some stuff. You know, trade the stuff I had extra. But people would not be happy. That's why I play Magic. I don't know. But the completionist, they hate it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I never got it. Sorry. It's kind of part of the reason why I quit doing this. Trying to complete stuff is why I quit playing Magic and playing with these It's just like, yeah, stomp by people that, you know, had great access and lots of interest. Uh, I like Commander. Is that good? I always like Commander. Commander's a 100 card deck. Every card in the deck has to be different except lands. <laughs> and you're 40 by the of 20. So it lets you put out big creatures. You also start with a Commander card in play. It's a giant creature, it's a legendary creature. And when it gets killed, I, oh, actually, it might not start to play. It starts where you can summon it as soon as you, you get it. But when it gets killed, you can summon it again and it just costs more each time it gets killed. And I like it because it's just fun. It's, it's hard to cheese out a deck when every single card is different. Now, some people can still pull that off, but I don't play them. I just buy the big one. I built some of my own. Because I didn't care, I just threw cards in the deck. Right. This creature's expensive, you never get them out. Well, I might command it. Because 40 life is a lot more to go through. Yeah. It is by far my favorite way to play. That, that would be fun. I just haven't gotten into the whole different. I mean, you know, I've heard about it, but I don't know about all the different Well, that they actually sell every year. They come out with a new commander set. They're about to do it very soon. They're, they're big because they have these big cards that count as your commander. I remember some of the magazines I used to get. I used to get big. Like oh, those. Well, that, those are more of a joke. Yeah, I know. But it's on the same size. Same size. Like, like they're this big. And they're just because you can pick, there's three of them, and you can pick which one you want to use. And that's that's your commander that round. And I just, I've got a real big kick out of them. But I agree. I, I play games, I play against people, and I'm like, ooh. Oh, this is cool, and then they're like, oh, you're, by the way, you're dead. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> exactly, that's exactly. But Commander, that doesn't, I just, my God, I, because we, since there's 100 different cards in the deck, let's say 20 or, let's say 30 or lands. So there's 70 different cards in the deck. Every game we play feels different. Like, oh, I got this card this time, I'm going to do this. And you don't worry about the combos, you're just like, oh, this is a cool card to play, I'll play. Cool. Yeah, that Now, the decks cost, like, 30 bucks, or I don't know what cool stuff sells them for. It's very expensive. Um, because some of the cards that they put in them, they're like the ones that each are rare cards that the, the main magic people want, so the, the price is higher. You could just replace that card with another card and sell it with the price. Yeah, you could. You had a full set of one I didn't see my one. I'm just going to give it to you. No. I'm just going to give it to you.
I wish I would have played. <laughs> I actually played that ball tennis. This ball when I played. The thing is, you know, people are like save games now, hoping they'll get valuable. You've no idea. And game speculation, I don't think, is a worthwhile pursuit. Magic would have been, but that's the exception. There's a few games that are worth a couple hundred dollars that you pay 30 for, but the only way you'd make any money off that is if you brought a hundred of those games. And if you, you can't buy a hundred of something and then it doesn't go up in value, then you just lost all your money. <laughs> and then game the warehouse of stuff that's going to sit there uses. There's still 43 people watching us talk. Nice. I'm really trying to decide what to do here. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. You have to take my. You have to take your counterweight, though. Oh. Could I get you to sign that one? Sure. You got a sharpie? Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to sign this or my card. I want the cover. Okay. <laughs> Sir, so what is the name of your hotel again? So I shall pick you up in front of said head to a hotel like at 8? It's around a block. I can go early if you want. No, no, no. The restaurant doesn't open until 8, so you're right. Radisson. Radisson is around the block. Let me look this up on the on. Does that work for you? Standing in front of your Radisson hotel at 8? It's fine. Did you finish the construction in there? The Radisson? Yeah. I didn't see it. It was under construction. Good hey guys, thank you. You got here tomorrow? I'll probably be here tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.